There we go, it's alive. Huh. Phew. Thank you everyone for uh, for your patience, if you're, for those of you who are still here, um, very much appreciated. Um, it looks like when I, um, I up so, so I updated my um, operating system fairly recently and it looks like um, I d it didn't update OBS properly and so that was causing some issues. Great, so, um, but now that now it seems to be fixed, so joys there. Um, which is interesting because I thought I did it before Monday and it was working on Monday, but it might, maybe it was after that. Anyway, <clears throat> none of that actually matters now because it's, cause it's up and working. So... The thing I was trying, I was telling everyone just before I was so rudely interrupted by the fact that no, I wasn't actually telling anyone anything, um, is that I was th I realised between streams that I hadn't um, that I got my beam transmitter that's um, actually you, you, that I'm using to cook these two ships pointing at the wrong place at the moment because it's busy out burning um, biters on Trellos. So. What I, so I was checking on these ships to make sure that they actually had a decent amount of heat in them. And this one's still at 9,200 degrees. So it's used less than 800 degrees. So this one is still absolutely fine. So <coughs> I don't need to worry about that one. Um, it's not going to have any problems in the short term. Although I do still need to um, make sure it gets toasted up at some point. This one has obviously gone a bit further because it's got down to 8,800 degrees C. Now it's still only 1,200 out of 5,000 used so it's less it's still got two-thirds of its power left but it's probably about time I, I switched it back over to firing at this one at uh, these ships rather so once this reaches um, Norvis orbit in about uh, a minute then I'll, uh, I'll I'll flick that back over and get it and get it working again as it should so until then what have I been doing well I've been busy on I was busy on Trellos basically all of last week because what, what with the all, all of the covids I um, I didn't have enough concentration to do anything particularly complicated so out here, I've put in all of these lasers around the edge, and these are getting finished off as more um, um, as more are brought in by the by the um, the parts ship. In fact, I should probably tell that to stop bringing in lasers now because it's virtually done. Um, so that's getting built up, and it does seem to be enough to deal with any of the attacks that are coming in. So that's good. That seems to be working pretty well. I put in some more um, uh, oil processing facilities here, uh, or ref refineries. That's the word for it. And it is gradually filling up these tanks with rocket fuel. Now, this is rather slow. Um, let's have a look. Where is the, the Trellos chunk ship? It is still on its way to Norvis. So <clears throat> we're less than halfway through its it, it cycle at the moment. So it's got plenty of time to um, to fill those tanks up. And hopefully they'll be, once the ship gets out, back out to Trellos, wherever it is, down, uh, it doesn't, here, here um, it'll, there'll be enough oil in those ships, in those in those fuel tanks, that it'll be ready to uh, to do all the refueling. I still need to keep a little bit of an eye on that and make sure it doesn't um, do anything too stupid with, with the, rock, with the uh, rocket fuel balance. But it's sort of mostly kind of working in a way-ish, sort of, <laughs> he says vaguely. So I need to point this at Norvis Orbit and... Is this not Norvis Orbit? Um... Nevis, no, Norvis, not Nevis, jeez. Right, try that again. Um, <clears throat> point that at this this ship here and get that toasting again and energise. Yes, yeah, so that's that's now working. So this will bring this ship back up to back up to operating temperature and it'll be absolutely fine for its next half a dozen flights out to um, out to the dim and distant part uh, reaches of um, of Realm of Shadows. So that's all this is all great. This is all basically working. Um, <clears throat> the only risk I've got here is that we might run out of um, space in these in these uh, warehouses or possibly in these ta all of these tanks uh, if things aren't quite balanced. And to be honest, they're probably not going to be quite balanced. These are all about a bit less than half full, though. So there's quite a lot of there's quite a lot of headroom in this still. So I'll come back and check this again later. So if you remember, there's about 200 stacks ish on average between them. That's, that should be should be good enough. So let's start, go back to Norvis Orbit, because that's a good starting point. Have I run out of fuel? Oh no. <laughs> I haven't got enough fuel in the ship to take off again. Um, that's a bit of a... I mean, it's not a serious problem, because we know how to deal with this. We've done it before. But I'm a bit surprised that it's happened, because I thought I got all these numbers sort of sanity, sanity checked. But apparently not. Apparently I'm not capable of doing... And I'm... I'm yeah, I am kind of confused. Is this going to fit through here? No, this is going to be going straight into this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, so I'm a bit confused about that because I thought I made sure I had plenty of fuel before I took off. Um, I mean, that it's clearly not the case because if I had plenty of fuel, then I'd, I'd have plenty of fuel. So, um, 
I don't know how I've managed to mess that up, but clearly I have. So let's make some more pipes and, and, and fuel the ship back up again and, and try to actually do these things properly in the future. That would be quite a nice bonus, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, it would. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to fix this the, this the simple way, basically just by running a pipe all the way through here. Um, what? Try again. Like this. All the way over here to this ship, and then just pump the fuel straight into it with the uh, in the in the in the obvious way. Um, I'm still a bit surprised I managed to make that error, but oh well, what can you do? Um, make lots of errors apparently is what I can do. Um, that way, there we go. And then I'll stick a pump in there as well, like this. No, like this. And then I'll make some underground pipes out of um, this iron. There we go. So now we can top this ship back up again. And eventually we'll have... <sighs> it's quite a bit of fuel needed, actually. 100 gigajoules of it. Um, right, we'll see. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. So, welcome, Peter. Thanks for joining. And the plan... Well, the first plan is to is to stop making mistakes. Um, apparently, somehow, I came over here without filling these tanks up, which is weird, because I was, I was fairly sure I came from Norvis Orbit this time, and, they were, and it was completely filled up there. But there's a shortage of fuel in here anyway. So, yeah, it's, it's, it'd, be, it'd be nice if I could actually do it as well. Um, so, yes, what is, the what is the plan beyond that? Well, once I've got this filled up and, and fueled up, I'm going to head back over to Norvis. Uh, Norvis Orbit, sorry. Then I'm going to have a bit of a think about um, Deep Space Science 3, which I think is going to mean Arcosphere. So, let's, while we're waiting for this to fuel up, let's have a, bit of a, let's have a look at that. So, it's going to be this one. And this requires... Da, 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 which is our Arcospheres. Which... <coughs> Um, there are bajillion recipes that produce arcospheres, as we have sort of, or specific types of arcospheres. So that's that's lovely. Um, but I think the source one for it all is going to be these arcospheres, which are found in the interstellar void, quote unquote. So I need to somehow, I, I need I need I need to work out how to do that. Now I've got a feeling. Yes, here we go. There's there's some there's some box text about this, so I can have a look in here. Um, I know an origin to density space. Interested, blah blah blah, box text, box text, box text, usage, collection. F launch an Arcosphere collector from an asteroid field, repeated launches of diminishing returns, you might get better returns by launching from different asteroid fields. Okay, so I think what I'll do is make a spaceship that can fly out to an asteroid field and launch an arbitrary number of um, Arcosphere collectors and then fly back to probably Norvis orbit and say, here are my Arcospheres, what would you like to do with them? I think that's probably going to be quite a good way to do it. Um, but the fact they're never used, they're, sorry, never destroyed is quite handy. So once I get a decent supply of them, um, then it's just going to be a case of, well, as it says, um, good, solving the most unique production challenge in the game. So I think this sounds like I'm not going to need an absolutely phenomenal number of them, which is probably a good thing given what it says about di um, about uh, d diminishing returns. So, an, so I'm going to need an Arcosphere collector. Let's have a look. Um, Arcosphere. So it's going to be this thing, Arcosphere Collector. So that's that's that looks like a that looks like a probe. So I'm going to assume it's launched. Yes, launched from probe rocket silo. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, that. So I need aeroframe bulk, quantum processors, dynamic magnetic cubes, antimatter canisters, and laser turrets. I mean, that's all stuff that is kind kind of exists. So sure. Um, I can make I can I can make all of this. In fact, I am making all of this stuff, with the possible exception of the antimatter canisters, and that's just magnetic canisters, which I'm all already making. Okay. Um, right. I think this isn't going to be too hard. Hopefully, the spaceship I'm, I'm going to make isn't going to be too difficult to do either. Um, I guess we'll get started. So, um, can I take off yet? No, I've gained almost no fuel in that time. Uh. <clears throat> okay, time to um, cheat. And by cheat, I mean pump it out of these other tanks. So I'll pump a lot more out here. Granted, most of it's going to go... Let's, let's do that as well. Let's just pump the fuel out of all these tanks. There we go. That's filling that up a bit more, a bit more quickly. Uh, 42, 57. Yeah, okay. 
Um, and this 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 should be absolutely fine because um, oh, so that's true. I could start building the Archosphere Collector, but I've got enough fuel flooding through now that I almost don't need to. Um, I'll be taking off fairly. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's 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 take a look at that while while I'm waiting. So an Archosphere Collector ship is going to be basically a ship kind of like this one. Um, in that it's going to be one that goes the long distances to the through the interstellar void. The main difference is going to be that instead of a load of all this storage space, it's going to need to have an, a, a, um, a launch, a thing launcher of some sort. Um, so I think what I'll probably do is make something that's about this wide, but not as not doesn't doesn't narrow down quite as much this far back, and then I can move all of this power generation stuff over to the side. And then the rest of it can just charge up wherever. Um, it doesn't slightly frustratingly mean I can't land it here, or it's probably it's probably going to be a different shape from this ship, so I won't be able to land it here. I suppose actually I could make it. Actually, no. Here's a better idea. Let's make a direct copy of this ship, because um, then it can be landed here and charge up from this power supply and this ion stream and water and everything else, or everything here. <coughs> or actually, secret option number. A rocket silo can't go on a spaceship floor. Oh, bum. Well, thanks for the warning, because that was exactly what I was planning to do. Um, can it be placed on land or spaceship? Right, okay. So it's going to need to fly out, be placed down by by robots, and then picked up again when, when, when we're finished. Okay. In that case, I might as well just, just literally just use this ship. Um, I assume there's room for this to go in here. Well... There is room for this to go in here somewhere if I take out those lasers or those shields. Um, or some of this stuff up here that probably isn't actually required. I might as well just use this ship because I've got it. Um, <clears throat> okay, right, let's do that. Let's put a couple more of these in down here because I think having a little bit of power surplus available is a good idea and then I'll delete these two and I'll get rid of all of these boxes because they probably shouldn't be there anyway <laughs> there's a lot of so this 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 is I always use these this ship when I was uh, dismantling one of the um, the uh, what do you call them it's the, the the big spaceship that you find in the um, in the uh, anomaly anomaly place so it's a bit um, yeah it's already got quite it's got quite a lot of stuff in it put it that way so the tricky part of this is going to be making sure this ship goes out with the um, with actually with robots in this roboport, because what the game rather likes to do, if you have a, if you have a roboport that's linked, then it's, it's, it has a bit of a tendency to pull the pull the robots out of it and take them away somewhere else, which I try which I would quite like to avoid, um, because they'll go off and do, they'll, they'll go off and do something else and that's annoying. So what I might end up doing is putting the robots in there. Once I've got them in there manually and I've made sure it's, it's all working, I might pull up this robot port so it's just not linked anywhere. Oh, a Spidertron's a good idea, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably sensible. Uh, Alright, let's forget that then. I still want to pull all of this stuff out because it shouldn't be stored in the spaceship. That's silly. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, it's also also possible. Loading them into the loading them in by um, inserter would be uh, by a navsat would be possible. Right, these are all full or full enough now. Let's pull all of this back up again and flip that round. And hopefully, I won't need to do that again, like ever. Uh, how are you guys doing? But. Some very, very full tanks down. Oh, there's some pumps pushing down there, that's why. Okay. So this, I still would quite like to replace these tanks with um, the booster tanks, just for the extra storage space, and that way I'd have one on the back of each one of these, and it would just dump straight into the spaceship very, very quickly. But I'm not actually that short of supplies, so I think it probably doesn't matter too much. I'm just going to ignore it and not, and not worry about that for now. Okay, let's get back to Norvis orbit. Come on, I've got full tanks. There we go. <laughs> Many of my words are famous last words. I just haven't run out of them yet. Okay, so we've got. We're going to send this ship out. 
probably put a Spider-Tron on it. Do I? I think I've got a Spider-Tron around here somewhere in space. Um, uh, no, don't press N. Press M for Muppet. Uh, a pretty, I did have a Spider-Tron in space at one point. The fact that I can't see it makes me think it must have gone off somewhere. And I've no idea where or why. But I probably decided it'd be a good idea to send it off to another planet. I suppose I probably should be able to make a Spider-Tron without too much difficulty. How, how, what do they actually take? Lots of low-density structures, rocket control units, heavy girders, biomass, rocket launchers are going to be slightly faffy. Portable RTGs, that's going to be a bit faffy. Why am I looking in here? Not in... Why have I got one in my... Stop it, there we go. Uh, let's have a look in here instead. Then I can actually track the th these things properly. So, low-density, yes. Rocket control units I think I've got up here. Heavy girders I've got, biomass I've got. Rocket launcher is fairly cheap stuff. I can make those by hand. Uh, RTGs. I've got uranium fuel cells up here now, I believe. So that's potential. That has potential. I can do that. Um, exoskeletons. Big electric motors I've probably got. I'm pretty sure I've got, actually. Yeah, I reckon I can I can make a Spider-Tron without too much difficulty. Okay, maybe that is the uh, is the answer to, to all of my um, all of my quibbles and questions. <clears throat> At the very least, I can have the Spider-Tron standing on there, uh, just taking things out of the boxes as required. So that yeah, that should be nice, nice and possible, I think. Hang on, can this? How does a Spider? -tr I haven't used Spider-Trons very much. Do they take things out of? Logistic, will they take things out of logistics chest? Or do you, do you have to demolish a logistics chest that has the stuff in, and then it goes into the Spidertron's inventory? Now I want to automate it. I don't want to go along with the spaceship. Um, so my 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 thought was that I would. Um, okay, so the Spidertron can request things from the logistics network and then its own bots will go off and get them presumably okay i think i am very tempted to not spidertron it um yeah the spidertron is turning into more of a ridiculousness than i want to deal with so i think what i'll actually do is i will put a robo port in here and I'll fill this up with, um, and one of these can be a, um, a green, a green chest, so it can then request the. Um... Yeah, but if there's no, you say his own bots, so uh, so a Spidertron can have a load of logistics bots in it, and the logistics bots will go and get things out of logistics chests. <clears throat> this seems to be the the, um, the the bit we're not quite sure about. <laughs> Let's have some buffer chests in there. Um, and then these can request the, um, uh, and I think, oh, I'll need some yellow chest as well, actually, just for somewhere to put things, because this isn't going to work quite as neatly as I'd like it to. So this can request, I want it to have a probe silo, probe rocket silo. It's going to need to have some of the, um, no, the Arcosphere probes. those things, Arcosphere Collectors, um, 20, because they're probably going to be quite big, um, <clears throat> oh, and we're going to need some probe rockets as well, probably, 20 of those as well, right, so this this now will, it should be nice and easy, The uh, put those, all, all that stuff goes into here, the spaceship lands, we use that, to we use this to deploy, oh, and it's going to need a load of, um, let's get space scaffolding as well. Um, we use that to deploy the scaffolding, um, <clears throat> and then the... That's not all going to fit. In fact, that's not all going to... That is that is all going to fit, but I need another one for the um, uh, scaffolding. Uh, scaffolding, 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 that one. Right, so and we'll then have a couple of chests as well. Uh, <laughs> all these little things, all these bits and pieces we need, and I don't need 50, 10 will be plenty, and some inserters. Uh, where, where, why am I looking in there for inserters? Inserters, uh, 20 will be fine. So I can then set up a little little blueprint where we, we drop down a, um, 
a pro brocket, a pro brocket with a uh, pad with a chest that loads it with the pro brockets and the arcosphere collectors, and then unloads <clears throat> into something which we can then dis dismantle and the, and the collect uh, construction bots will bring back over here. Let's also request some construction bots because otherwise I just know that I'm going to run out and it's going to be a pain in the wasp name. Right, exa exactly, Madman. So the, um, the, sp the the using a Spidertron in here would would just probably go wrong because I'd want stuff from the chest and I wouldn't be able to get them unless I dismantled them and yeah, it's just not worth it. This 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 way is probably going to be better. <coughs> right, so I've got the probe the probe rockets are already being built over here, admittedly in relatively small quantities. Uh, where is it? Somewhere around here. Here. They're being built. Uh, there's 20 in there, so I can go over and grab those by hand. That's fine. So I just need to build the Arcosphere collectors now, and then everything will be both hunky and dory. Um, how am I doing with all the rest of the stuff I've asked for? There's no no construction robots, and there's no stack inserters available. Okay, let's make those filter stack inserters then, because I'm sure I've got those available. Yes, there we go. So I need to find some construction bots. That's not a problem. The, oh, and I need to find a uh, pro rocket silo. I need to make a pro rocket silo because I won't have enough of those. Yeah, they wouldn't. The point is, I, I was going to have either this or a um, um, or a Spidertron. This the, it, having both is a bit pointless. So this won't. This, the Spidertron won't work on its own. This will. So I've gone for that one. Am I back? I am back. Right. Okay. So, where did I? The first question is, where did I build the other pro rocket silos I've used? Um, did I have somewhere that was making them for me, or did I just make them by hand because I only needed like three? Um, it's quite possible I just made them by hand. Okay. What goes into one of those? Do do do. Lots. Of, okay. I didn't pick all that stuff up by hand. <laughs> um. I'm slightly surprised I don't have a machine. One of it's, it, basically, I'm slightly surprised it isn't one of these machines that made it. But looking at these, none of these are pro rocket silos, so clearly not. What are these making? Okay, chemical plants. I should rip all of that up and probably some of at least some of this as well. Why is there a, a thousand naquim, naquitite? It's not crushed, so it's not particularly useful because I'd need to take it all the way back out to Realm of Shadows to process it, but. Uh, or I could pr crush it here, I suppose. Shove it in a, in, a, in a big chest. Right, okay. Let's go down here to try and make these extra things that I'm going to need. So I'm clearly not making pro rocket silos, because otherwise I'd have at least some. But just in case I've made a mistake with that, with that sort of statement, let's have a quick look along here. No, these are all raw semi, semi raw materials now. Okay. So let's have a machine there to make the rocket silos and a machine there to make the rockets. Um, give me my character back. There we go. So you are to make the uh, rocket silos. <clears throat> that means you need a big electric motor to put, to put heat shielding. I think all of that stuff is, yes, this is all stuff I have around here. So let's bring this one in yeah, all right. Let's let's do it exactly the same. Let's do it exactly the same. There we go. Um, like that. Um, I completely missed the edge. Oh, I see why. I'm... Uh, yeah, that'll have to do. Do that. So that's that's that, that right. Okay, that's that one. Blue blue circuits, heat shield tiles. In fact, you know what? Oops. Let's just bring this belt over here, because that's got the first two of the ingredients that I need already on it. Blue circuits, aeroframe scaffold, heavy girder, and holmium thing. There's blue circuits. And I want to probably put that... Uh, here is probably about right. Uh... Yeah, right. Let's do it. So let's do it the same way as I've done it over there. So, this comes down like this. Oh, like 
that. And if I have this come down like this, then the two belts won't try and feed onto each other. So that's okay. Right, do, do, do. Electro motor's done. Aeroframe scaffolds, heavy girders, holmium cables. Are you? No, you're light density structures. These are heavy girders. Oh no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> the um, the dragon, just dragging the thing across idea works really, really nicely, except when it doesn't. <clears throat> that one, that one, and aeroframe things. There's aeroframe pole, oh, there they are, down there, that one. I couldn't see them because it was all just it was just sort of vaguely green things all blending together with the vaguely grey thing that is the um, uh, is the belt and the scaffolding and all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> right. Uh, do, 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 do. In fact, let's you know well, let's do this bit now because otherwise I'll forget and we'll have the same sort of problems earlier that I was grumping about just now. I'll put that in there. down there and once again put in the underground belts and the other one was this one up here Should go there I'm just being really really lazy here actually um, and I'm fully aware of it but I don't think I care no one more but I c what I should really be doing is um, arranging it so that I only bring down the actual things that I need rather than the things that are on the other side of the belt from them as well, but never mind. There we go. That should now be absolutely everything. Yes, it is. So, put an output exerter, one of those in there. Um, it's not linked to the network, which is unhelpful. Um, I've obviously run out of, yes, just about run out of that. So, let's put down some more um, more ground. Like so, and then I can put down another one of these uh, here. That's now there. So, we, um, oh, it's, it's this one I wanted to link to the network, actually, isn't it? So, logistics network connect, enable when that is less than two. Okay, so there we go. Got one of those now. Excellent. <clears throat> what was the other thing I needed? Uh, it wasn't the probe rockets. It was the um, uh, arcosphere collector thing. So this this one. Right, so everything. I don't think the Naquium cubes are here, and the antimatter canisters, de antimatter canisters definitely aren't here, and probably nor are the la neither are the laser turrets, which is a bit of a shame. They're probably going to have to come in by bot, I think, which I don't really want to do, but I'm going to pro going to have to in inverted commas, where I don't really mean literally have to, but I can't be bothered to do them by any other method. Uh, One, so that's the that's those quantum processors. Uh, is this one? Quantum processors, dynamic emitters. Um, I know I'm making those around here somewhere because I remember, I remember making them in a sort of oh here's yet another obscure, um, high-end weird thing. Uh, but where are they all? Where are they? <laughs> um. Oh, is this? No. Or am I not making them over here and I'm making them somewhere else because I didn't think I needed them here? I don't see any of them here, actually, so maybe I'm not. Maybe it was over in the um, energy science area, which is this one. I'm sure I started... Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm... Oh, were they one of the components for... Um... No, I thought there might be one of the components of these quantum processors, but no. I might not make it, just simply not making dynamic emitters yet, then. Is that... Cause I, I could have sworn that I'd started making them somewhere along here, because something needed them. <coughs> uh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, here they are. Alright, so where do they go? They go up here, up here, up here, onto this belt. 
Okay, it's just it was just so far up, I suspect, but I didn't see it. That's my guess, anyway. No. There, that was better. <clears throat> right, uh, it's dynamic emitters. That took some, took some, took a bit more finding than I was expecting. Dynamic emitters, Naquim cubes, not a chance. And uh, laser turrets, not a chance. No, probably, almost certainly not. Um, Naquim cubes are going to have to come in by. It was cubes, wasn't it? Not tesseracts. Yes, Naquim cubes are going to come in by train because those are being put onto the um, onto the train system over here, somewhere around here. Somewhere in here, oh yeah, here we go. Feeding Naquim, yes, I am feeding Naquim cubes into the train, so we can we can pull them out um, from probably here. Yes, this this one will do. So y you, I want you to request some no some Naquim cubes. That's not that one, but that one. Um, oh, what's a good number? Um, Tetris forty four hundred should be minus. 600 seems like a good number. Um, then this comes to right. Where's my uh, one, two, three, four, five? So this is this this is full. So if I put another thing in here, it should come. It should actually come along at this level. Um, what's going along here? Oh, oh, pink clouds. Okay, fine. I'll bring this along at this level. Uh, my string, 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 string. Shrink, 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 shrink. So that comes along here. That is the third one of the things at this level. That's straightforward enough. Um, oh yeah, and I should actually program these inserters as well, shouldn't I? Otherwise it'll never work. <clears throat> so despite everything I was saying in the um, in the LTN infrastructure videos, um, I, I haven't replaced these with um, uh, with, with warehouses yet. If I make any future stations, maybe I, maybe I actually will at that point. But for now, it's it's, it's on the, it's it's going to be using the slow system. But that's probably okay for what I've got at the moment, and especially for something like Naquium cubes, where each swing is and each swing of one of these inserters is going to take out an entire stack anyway. So it's not like it's exactly a slow process. Oops. No, don't go underground where there's just just because there's nothing there, just because there's a gap there. That makes no sense. Right, so now we're down to just the um, antimatter canisters and the laser turrets. Now, antimatter canisters, I think, are probably one of those things that's best being made somewhere where I feel like there should be a sort of a central antimatter point. At the moment, I'm making antimatter here. I think these are antimatter, yes. Antimatter is being made here. Now, this probably isn't the ideal place to do it. I, 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 could, I could consider this to be where I'm making antimatter and put it into canisters here and ship it all off and so on, but it's probably not ideal because I'm, I'm going to need the antimatter in a number of places eventually. I'm going to need it for making these canisters for the, for the Arcosphere collection. I'm going to need it for fueling spaceships at some point, um, and that might well be it. So at the moment, I'm making most of my various types of cloud th cloudy things over here, uh, which made sense at the time. And I am, in fact, I think, shipping out the um, yes, I'm shipping out Ion Stream from here by train. So maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just do the same and keep, and keep it over there in, in, in the in with the uh, deep space science, <clears throat> um, and then just ship and have it shipped out by train. I don't know. Um, I see Peter is recommending doing something like this for making antimatter. Thing is, an antimatter is a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit of a faff to make um, because you need to go through. In order to get your antimatter stream, you need to make particle stream, which means you need material testing packs, you need sand, you need plasma stream, which is stone. So you need to ship in, you need to ship in chem gel, um, stone, and crush it. Material testing packs. And thermofluid to make antimatter stream, all of which is already over there because I, because I set it up to make antimatter on site here. That, yeah, here. That said, having the antimatter being made on site here is probably unnecessary and possibly foolish. Um, but, but it is already here and working. 
So I think for now, I'm just going to tap off this one, um, even if it is potentially unwise, and and, and, get, and see how it goes. Um, I am probably going to need to make significantly more of these. Yeah, power isn't a problem. I can I can put in more solar if required. How much are we using at the moment? <laughs> Almost none of it. But that's probably because it's not actually producing any at the moment. So yeah, we've also got the canisters being made up here. Actually, now I look at it. So having to, so grabbing some of these mag canisters, I could just fill these up with um, um, uh, with with, with, with antimatter. Is that all? Is that all that's needed? Antimatter canister is a canister and an antimatter and some thermofluid. Yeah. So if I ship past these down, 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 down. Then I can fill them up somewhere around here. Because that's got all of the things I need, in more or less in the same space. <clears throat> um, this isn't going anywhere else, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then ship and then ship them out by train and see how it and see how it goes. Uh, at some point, yes, when I do spaceships, I'll also be wanting to ship the antimatter itself out by train. But this should work for now. <clears throat> so, here, let's put in... Um, it's going to be a... No, this one's... Mm. I'm trying to decide whether I want to try and do something clever and have the, have the same station pick up both um, Naquium cubes and antimatter, but that seems like a silly idea. Oh, does it? Oh, that's mildly annoying. Um, all right, let's have a look at those numbers again. Okay, so it takes a magnetic canister to make an antimatter canister. An antimatter canister, ten antimatter canisters. Ten okay, so actually that's yeah. If I grab ten of these, then it's, they're just going to go round and round and round in circles. Okay, let, let's let's do that then. Let's take let's take the antimatter over by by train because I'm going to probably going to need that at some point. Uh, train stations, uh, fluid stations, sorry, tend to be a bit chunkier, so let's give it a plenty of space like this. I think that's enough space. This can come back in over here. Right. And I'll, yeah, I'll put an, an antimatter pickup station over here. That's going to be easy enough to do, like this. Oh, <laughs> course there's something in the way because of course there is and then I'll I'll come over and work this one out in in, in in person as it were right okay yes reasonably happy with that design I think it's probably probably going to work uh, more power needed right there we go uh, so you've got you need these And the, meep, these, and these, and these as well. But I'll come back to that, I think, because that's going to be f complicated. What? Oh, that's, no, all completely wrong, Lawrence. What are you doing? Um, let's take this one out upwards because otherwise, to do otherwise would be silly. So we'll have this coming down here, like that. Um, oh, I so that works quite well. I can loop it around like that. And then this one is also, pro yeah, this is also going to want to be a top dropping, this dropping off system. So a bit of this. There we go. Uh, wait. That's not going to work, is it? No. This needs to be... Oh, yeah, this needs to be one square further forward. That's how it works. So that goes there. Then this comes up here like... Like this. And back round like that. And there we go. Then it fits. Or doesn't. Um. Okay, in that case, let's put this one here. Ah, the joy of spaghetti. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's fine. 
that up. Here, bring some down here, I think. Oh. It's a slightly bigger gap than the others, but it'll still be opposite the um, this thing, because these machines are huge, so that's fine. Right. What are you and why are you not working? Oh, okay. Right, that's most of the so that's most basically all of the ingredients except the um, the antimatter canisters and the laser turrets. So the laser turrets I'm going to bring in by uh, ro robot. What's being destroyed? Trello. Oh. Trellos. Goodness sake! I don't want to spend the whole session running back and forth to Trellos because things are getting eaten. Um, I mean, they've done reasonably well. The problem is there's no walls going out there because the spaceship doesn't sit long enough on um, on Norvis to actually get loaded up with walls. Uh, the bots should be coming out to repair that. Why are they not? There's 32 construction bots. Do they not have any repair packs? Maybe the repair packs are all on the spaceship. Where is the spaceship? On its way. Nearly there. Okay. So hopefully the, the bots will get some um, spaceship and do some... Oh, I'm being brought useless off. Okay. Uh, we'll be... We'll, um, words. Hopefully the spaceship will, will leave enough re uh, repair packs behind that things will get repaired in the future. Sure, whatever. There aren't any laser turrets up here. Okay. Well, that's something that definitely needs to be brought up because laser turrets do get used quite a lot. <clears throat> right. How do you... First, next question. How do you make an antimatter canister? You do it in a particle collider. Okay. Um, I can't select that from here, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, particle collider is that one. That goes there. Now, presumably, I'm not going to be able to just shove this in here and have inserters going both ways. Because that would be far too helpful. And that never works. So what we're probably going to have to do is put it there. Yes, there will work. And then I can put in a... Then I can put it... Let's try this again. Then I can put in a box here. And have that unload that and that and there. So it'll just pass the um, the, the mag, mag things around there. <laughs> You say that I've tried. I, I, I know I've tried it before. I'm not sure exactly what with. It was probably something like, um, um, like no, I can't remember. But I, I'm, I'm sure I've had a thing where it's been, things have been supposedly passed back and forth and it hasn't worked. But all right, let's give it a try. Um, it's probably one of those things where it doesn't work because because you've got. Um, one of them ends up being full. So if you put exactly the right number in, then it'll work. But you have to know exactly. You have to get exactly the right number. Um, so we'll see if I can. We'll see if I can actually manage that. I say exactly the right number, approximately the right number. Yeah, exactly. Um, need to make sure a buffer doesn't fill up, pretty much. So that's not working, um, as stated previously stated. That I don't care about. That goes. Uh, that that one um, is making the Arcosphere collectatrons, which are in here for some reason. And I want to say if less than 30, yeah, let's make 30 at a time. That's probably that seems like a number. Um, you are going to be filling up those. So I need to bring in bring in and take away coolant, and I need to bring in clouds. So let's do that like that. There we go. Now all three of them are accessible. Um, yeah, if I bring over like 20, that'll probably be all right. I hope. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm trying to think what it was. It was probably one of the Angel Bob's recipes that used catalysts. That'll be where I I tried it and found it and, and had issues and got gr got grumpy. Um, right. So we need a. F do I have a fluid station that has a space? I do. I do. This one. Okay, so we could we could we could have this one start requesting um, antimatter as well. Uh, antimatter. If you were an antimatter, where would you hide? If you were a Lawrence, why wouldn't you use the search thing? Uh, 
It's a fluid, is it? Okay. Um, presumably that means minus 25,000 because everything is minus 25,000. Let's make that minus 10,000 just in case because I'm paranoid. It's going to be different for reasons. Oh, has it? Oh, interesting. Um, I can't see them from there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, what, what I'm trying to look for. Right, having fluids under fluids does make a certain amount of sense, I have to admit. Um, and it's amusing that it's taken this long. But, <laughs> yeah. I have spent far too long looking for fluids and not being able to find fluids because they aren't under fluids. So that's, that's, good, that's good news. Right. Um, okay, yes, these are disconnected. Good. So what we need to do is we can't bring this across into here because there isn't room, but we can bring it across here like that and like that and that no not like that damn it can't do that then um where am i going to bring this through? how am i going to bring this through i suppose i could bring it up no i can't bring it up here there isn't room i could pass it up a bit further a three pipe is going to have a side thing though isn't it Oh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Um, okay, okay, this is what I'll have to do. Bring it up there and up there like that. And then I can put in a... a s oh, for goodness sake. Stop getting it wrong. Um, right, there we go. Now I can start putting in these things. Putting in a three there is going to be safe because it's not going to join onto that one. These are now, of course, much too close together. So it's going to have to be a shorter pipe, like a nine, which I've run out of. Uh, do, do, uh, nine, actually, was, should have been the first one I made. There we go. Nine, and I suppose a five. Now it's a three. Fives? Mm. I shall give it a moment. <laughs> there we go. Five can go there and not there, I suppose there. Factoria gives you some lovely puzzles, doesn't it? <laughs> so put that there and wonder what that one is. Is a nine going to be? That is a nine. Okay. One, two, three, and then a three. That's not a three. That's a three. That's going to connect onto there, so I can't use that one. That's not going to connect there, so that's safe. Do that and that. You know what? Let's just make that a much bigger one. That was a 9. Let's just stick in a 15. Uh, which does mean, admittedly means a bit more across here. But never mind. Put that there. <clears throat> and I'm going to eventually want to get down to about here. I apologise if watching me messing around with pipes isn't quite the content you came to this stream for, but uh, sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes running, playing a bit of pipe mania is oops, kind of required. So you know, you got to do what you got to do. And sometimes, sometimes playing at plumbing is what I got to do. Pretend I'm one of the Mario brothers. They were plumbers. I can't see what I'm doing. I've, my jetpack's leaving smoke everywhere. <laughs> right. There we go. Nearly there. And then I can start actually solving normal puzzles again. Like a proper Factorio streamer. <laughs> Oops. Let's just do that. Make things a bit easier for us. Then pipe, 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 pip
pipe. And we're basically done. And all I need to do now is actually have some antimatter on the um, on the bus, on the, on the train system for it to pick up. You're probably right. I wasn't quite watching closely enough uh, when you when exactly when you said that. But they'll um, the pipes as, as they're set up now will be should should be all right. So I think it's a an adequate solution to the puzzle, even if it's not quite the optimum one. Uh, nope, that's biological. Need to go a bit further still. And here we are. Right. Put down the track. Right, and now I need to paste in a station. So let's take... Let's take that one. I'm not sure what I'm actually pasting here and why I'm bothering. Although I'm wondering why that doesn't line up. Oh, it does. If it's there, okay. Um, now I'm going to need a large area on this side for tanks. I'll s tidy that up in a minute. But let's put the. Um, I don't know why I copied and pasted that. Now I think about it, actually, because it's a, it was a bit pointless. <laughs> okay. So, tanks. Uh, in fact, let's put in the pump, pump first. So, pump goes there. Tanks go on the back of it, like this. Simple. Um, we then need to run the pipe over from here, like this. And this. Hopefully, it'll work. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Not getting anything through. Oh, here we go. This is why. All right. Now we can pump the uh, the antimatter through. Um, the pump isn't going to work because there's no power over here. That's fine. I can deal with that like this. Um, and then, as usual, I need um, a accumulator over here. Combinator, sorry, over here, not accumulator. Like that. Um, can't provide stacks, need to provide a liquid quantity, so that's going to be a um, provide threshold of 25,000. Wire everything together. Do, 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 do. There. Done. Uh, oh, I need some signals around here as well, actually, otherwise things are just going to be sad. There we go. Okay. I think that's um, that should be, should be good. We've only got 6,000 um, antimatter so far. Uh, that's probably well. That that that'll it, it, it'll gradually trickle in. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take out that, put in that, and have an, have another pump here, just so this gets pumped in here. <clears throat> so we're not trying to use this to um, uh, pump it out. It's station set up to receive the antimatter. Oh, at the other end, uh, probably not actually. I'll go and um, I'll go and fix that in a moment. But it's going to be a while until this fills up enough. I think I'm probably going to need another um, matter fabricator or five over here. I don't know. We'll see what sort of rate we get get through it at. Um, wow, we are using all of the power with this. Uh, let's go and put in some more solar then. And of course, the the matter fabricators don't take uh, modules, so I can't make them a bit more efficient, which is, you know, one of those standard. Space exploration making things a little bit harder than it needs to for you. Uh, let's give it double the power it's got at the moment. Um, not you. Uh, tiles as well. Create blueprint. Blomp. Now, I'm not going to have remotely enough. Um, oh, maybe a, mm, 1500. No, probably not. Oh. Yeah. I've got enough to add in another chunk to the uh, power supply, though, so that's probably going to be all I really need. Oop, there we go. I've run out. <laughs> okay, so we're trying to project, trying to use 1.4 gigawatts at the maximum. Um, I don't know if I've got enough. 
solar panels on me to, to do that. I certainly haven't got enough. Um, what do you call it? These bots are not going to put it down in sensible places. Uh, don't bother with any of that. Don't do bother. No, no, yeah. Oh, good sake. <laughs> Uh. Try us again with a bit less general incompetence, shall we? So what I want to do is, what I th I'm thinking, since I've got some spare scaffolding over here, I might as well use it to try and finish off at least some rows of solar panels. Uh, which means it's going to need to be about there, I think. Yes, that's spot on. So if I come down from there. Da, 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 there we go. No, not like that. Okay. Uh, connect. Okay, maybe I can't count. How much power have we got now? We've got 1.4 gigawatt. Okay, so we should just about have enough now, even even when everything starts running flat out. <clears throat> right, these are not running constantly because they've run out of particle stream, because this isn't able to keep up, presumably. Yeah, this is a slow machine. All right, let's give the speed modules for now, which is going to make even be even... Ooh, speed module 7. Sure. And, oh, an efficiency module 8 as well. Have to have a couple of those. And that'll probably now use negative power. Yeah, it is. How about now? Still. Okay, those those um, efficiency modules are crazy, crazy powerful. I have one of them as well. Still, eight, still minus eighty percent. Uh, yeah, you're probably right, Leopard. If you that um, yes, it would be um, if you could use efficiency modules, then you'd, you'd be able to generate more power than it used in in, in generating it. So yeah, that's a, it's a fair point. Um, but still, it's a. It's still, still, a, still a minor, minor frustration. Um, this is now going a bit quicker. I, I clearly need a lot more of these particle accelerators in here for, for this. But we are mm, generating this slowly. So we've got, we've now got about ten thousand. So we're nearly, so we're almost halfway to having a, a train's worth. Which, I mean, it's, it's probably okay. It's okay for sort of test, testing purposes and things like that. So we'll use that for now, and then go back and put in a lot more generation of um, particle stream. No, wh well, whichever one it is. Um, in my inventory, no. I'll probably I'll so I'll go back and put in more particle accelerators or whichever one of those were at uh, at some point. Oop, spaceship, fly around that. And where was that? Here's, here's the fluid station I was messing around with. No. I don't know what I pressed to open that. Oh, J to open that, apparently. Right, so this one needs to be programmed to unload antimatter. Oh, yes, yes, they've all been moved into here. Uh, antimatter, that one. Uh, if antimatter is greater than zero, then unload. Yeah, that's how they all work. Good. Um, um, all right, apparently that is enough between them for... for the, the, the amount um. right so we'll probably be do do some more of so what's this what's this set to trigger at uh, request for 10,000 okay so actually that sh well that will work at minus 10k but only just uh. so what's this hmm, maybe I was just trying to be a little bit more gentle with the amount of this stuff I requested Right, so I think is that ev is that everything? It's everything except laser cannons. We don't have enough laser cannons because why would we? So look, what, what what I need to do is add laser cannons to my shopping list of stuff that gets brought up from the um, from Norvis. So let's do that. Dun, 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 dun. I'm surprised they aren't in there. They aren't in there already. Actually, I've got I've got machine gun turrets, but not and yeah, there's laser turrets in there. Um. I don't see laser turrets on there. Maybe maybe laser turrets are one of the things I'm short of. I feel like I need to have a thing down here that multiplies by minus one. What are you doing? You're multiplying by one. What? Are you, why? Are you, why are you multiplying nothing by one? What's that all about? And it's feeding back on itself as well. Okay, let's 
Let's sort that out. Um, it's not getting any inputs either. Let's pick it up. In fact, let's pick it up and put it down somewhere. Put it down again, so we know it's not connected to anything. And then I can use this one to give me a, a negative of the of the uh, total for all of that, all of those things, and that will give me an, a useful num, an, an easier way of reading off whether the whether there's um, well, basically everything that's on the on the logistics network. So we do that and that. You can say you multiply everything by minus one and output everything. Now on here, there we go. So these these are the requests that we've got on the system now. So we're requesting an enormous number of batteries, quite a lot of science. But I don't see I don't see it requesting la oh yes, we're requesting two hundred laser turrets. Right. So that should mean there are laser turrets being loaded onto it down on Norvis, unless there's something wrong with the laser turret supply, which is my current suspicion. Hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining, etc., etc. That's the wrong button. Lawrence pressed the right buttons. Uh, yes, thank you for joining. Um, I'm currently in the middle of trying to work out why I don't have any laser turrets, which is fun. Um, where's my spaceship? Here's my spaceship. Where's my request random crap that the, the spaceship wants? A Matron. Okay, so down here, we're, yeah, this again is showing the, the list of things that the spaceship wants. But isn't showing laser turrets? That's interesting. Is that because there are already, or, already are someone here? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, that's forgivable then. So they've, they've been brought over. They've been put on the ship. It doesn't answer why there was that sudden... Oh, because they've all been being put on the... Um, They've all been being put on the Trellos ship. That's why. Okay, that makes perfect sense then. Um, this one. You don't need to have like 200 of these anymore or whatever it was it's selected set at. Uh, you can have 50 because that'll be enough for replenishment stuff. There we go. Okay, that's that's fair enough. If they've all been being put onto a, onto a spaceship that's going off somewhere else, that makes sense. I kind of I understand that. Still a bit of a an annoyance that we're not going to be able to make the um, these things for a little while, but never mind. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to need is coolants. I think yes, I, I, I thought so. I do have coolants down here. So, is that, yeah. That's... So let's check which ones it requires. You're saying you need brings in uh, super cooled and outputs warm. Okay, that's 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 good, that's normal, that's acceptable. That's what I'd sort of expect. This is cool. This is super cooled. Comes all the way across here like that, nice and easy. And where's the where's the warm return? Here's here's the warm return path. Um, you know what? Let's go over there and just do this by do this by hand because it's a lot easier to put pipes together by hand I reckon than than, than by um, navsat because I've got all the stuff in my inventory and it's a bit easier to flick around between them and think through what I'm trying to do. Uh, it's probably going to be a no, nope, not going to be a nine. Stick in a seven then like that. Exactly the same length. Interesting. Okay, so down here we are going to need multiple pipelines. So there's this one for the antimatter. It's going to go up there somewhere. This one for the warm. And this one for the chili. And that's in the way. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of, well, I don't know where else I'm going to put this. I suppose I can't put it here because the robot ports don't have the range. I guess I'll put it here, and it'll just be in the way of whatever thing goes along there, which is mildly annoying, but not too serious. So that goes like that. This one breaks here and comes up like that, and we put in. A, is that going to be a five? It is. There we go. And then this one needs to come up a little bit further. To up here somewhere. Oh, that'll do, I guess. Um, like that. 
There we go. <coughs> oh, I suppose, yeah, down would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, alright, that's a good idea. Thank you. And down here now. Hook all these up. Bump, bump, bump. Um, that's feeding into this as well, but I don't think that matters because this isn't doing anything with fluid, so I don't care. I don't think I care about that. Right. Good. Are you yes, you've taken up the thing you can take. Right. While that's uh, while we're still waiting for the um, the actual antimatter to be brought over here, let's go and get some of those um, canister things. I want to put in about twenty, I think. Um, I think that's going to be enough to keep everything running without causing buffer problems. This is my hope. I think it should be. Um, it wasn't up here. It was all the way down over there. It was down in um, uh, deep space science where these things are being produced. Is it bio? Yep, yeah, that's bio. I always think I must have flown far enough, but it turns out just to be the biological sciences. Um, and I actually haven't. Okay, so up here. Um, where have they gone? Ah, down here. 17. 17. Alright, 25 is close enough to 20 for the, these sort of purposes. <laughs> How's my antimatter supply coming along? Why am I walking? I don't know. Uh, 18, 18,000. No, it's not too bad. That's actually not too bad. I'm reasonably happy with that, that sort of speed. Uh, we'll see whether it's actually enough once I get other things using it as well. I should have brought over another particle accelerator, but I didn't. Because that would have been sensible. Um, yeah, we'll see whether it's actually enough once I get other things using it as well. But for now, it's probably going to be alright. Let's get another particle accelerator. <laughs> um, another of the blue ones, because that is just going. That, that, that is clearly the, um, the limiting factor at the moment, even with those crazy speed modules I put in it. What I'm probably going to end up doing here is pushing the um, the bottleneck back a step at e each time, and then going, oh, actually, wait, this is the bo this is the bo bottleneck, and oh, wait, now this is the bottleneck, oh, wait, now this is the bottleneck. But, never mind. Can someone bring me a uh, particle accelerator? Yes, they can. Excellent. Right, so once that's done, I'm, wait I'm still waiting for the laser cannons to come back up from, um, from Norvis. What's, what's complaining here? Tulip has not got enough logistic storage space. What? The Why is Tulip trying to use logistic storage space? That's my first question. Plump. All right. So how fast are you running? You're running at th a speed of three. You're running at a speed of one. Okay. I don't have any more of these, but I can give you some of those and one of those. Um. Hmm. Just take that back and give it one of these instead, and then I can give this one one of these. And feel a bit less silly about giving it one of these. And now these are... I think these have got the same in them? Yes. Um, and now so they're running at 160, plus 160% 160 each. That's yeah, still insufficient, apparently. Oh, there's... An, okay, no, now there's not enough um, plasma stream. Despite all of these machines up here, all of which have lots and lots of... Um, admittedly, granted, tier 3 blue modules, but it's still not enough. I don't have any more of the really, really good ones either. So, oh, what I can do though is I can put that in there and take out all of these and replace them with these. How does that how's that affect the speed? Uh, so it was at speed 4.6, now gone to speed 5.4. So that is an improvement. Um, do the same here. Okay, that's given, that's given it another sort of 100% or so on the speed there. These are now 
still waiting very patient or very impatiently. Oh well. And my my hope is, as I was saying, I've got about twenty thousand now. My hope, as I was saying, is that we um. Oh, it was already the plasma stream, was it? Oh, all right. I fail at actually noticing these things. Oh well. Or rather, I fail. You're 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 quite you're quite right. I just didn't work out. I didn't. The, the, all of these things have such similar names. I didn't work out which one you're actually talking about. So that was, yeah. <clears throat> my bad. Um, I should probably go back over there with some more plasma generators, but I'm probably not going to right now. Okay, so anyway, we've got so we've got 20,000 antimatter now over there, and I'm hoping that that that, that production system is is actually going to be enough once stuff fl starts fl fl flowing back and forth properly. Hey Mars, welcome to the uh, chat uh, channel uh, stream, whatever whatever it is I'm doing at the moment. Thanks thanks for joining and hello. Uh, so I'm going to hope that. I'm not going to be getting through these Arcosphere collectors that quickly, so the fact that I've only got a li rather limited antimatter production is probably going to be okay. Apparently it was your first message. <laughs> so, um, consider yourself welcomed, I suppose. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my, 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 pro my things I'm waiting for now are I'm waiting, I'm waiting for my spaceship to come up with a um, all of this stuff, specifically these laser cannons. Um, it's filling up it's filling up gradually at the moment with the, uh, um, what do we call it? Circuit, so it's not even filling up with circuit substrates, really. Hmm. Apparently, I've, basi I've basically got enough of everything except these laser turrets. So it's going to be a while till the spaceship comes up. I think I might just, excuse me, just launch it, to be honest. Uh, go to Norvis Orbit. I want those laser cannons. <laughs> well, um... Yes, definitely don't feel you have to lurk. Um, you're very welcome to talk as much as you want, and uh, please let me encourage you to do so uh, lots and lots. Yeah, spaceships, spaceships are great. Um, they're lovely and complicated, and de and definitely and, and definitely don't melt my brain at all ever, honest. <clears throat> so that's that spaceship will now have brought up the um, the laser cannons I'm waiting for. The mag antimatter canisters are going to come across from here, so let's give those all of those. Press try and empty my inventory as much as I can. Um, so that should now start making the um, the these things. What are you waiting for? Oh, so you're waiting for the, the laser turrets. That's fine. So that'll get me those. I'm on um, Deep Space Science Tier 3 at the moment. So depending on how you count, um, I'm, on the, I'm on the last type of science um, and I'm about halfway through it by, by number of science packs. I'm I strongly suspect that it's going to get gradually harder and harder, and therefore the fact that I'm halfway through by number of science packs doesn't mean I'm actually halfway through the last tier of science. It's probably going to take all, it's probably going to take me longer to do the last two than it did to do the first two, basically. At least that's my assumption. Over here, how are we doing? Not got any of these, which is unsurprising. I have got loads of these, which is is a bit surprising. I don't know where those have come from. Oh, they've probably come from the other. Um, the other spaceship, yeah. Um, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm more than halfway through the run, yes. Because <laughs> I've done all six of the Norvian sciences. I've done Then I've done the first rocket science. Then I did the 16 um, space sciences. In fact, let's show you. Let, 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 let's, have, let's have a pretty picture. So, I've done the six Norvian sciences. Then I did rocket science. Now I did done all four of the astro, all four energy, all four material... Uh, all four biological and the first two of deep space. So um, yeah, so there's been quite there's 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 much much science has been done, um, but I have but I'm still still two science packs away from from finishing, and I and there is also the secret ending that I don't actually know very much about. So I'm going to need to spend some time after I've after I've done the um, the normal ending, which is to go very very fast for a long time. Um, I, and presumably have done all of the science, so I don't know. Uh, I, I, somewhere, somewhere down here, maybe uh, tele, teleport. No, here we go. Spaceship victory. Um, so I need to have have that running for. Um, for I need to do that, and that'll that'll um, that'll win me the game. But apparently, but I believe there's a secret um, objective as well, so I'll try and do that one. Um, I built to trying to produce um, one science 
one science catalog every five seconds just because that seemed convenient for the um for the for the number of for, for a number of um supercomputers to put down and i've sort of stuck with that because it's basically been okay okay granted this this this, this research has taken a very very long time and i've been waiting for it and i've been sort of waiting for it for ages because i'm not making the deep space science packs quickly enough but most of the time i've been the uh, the limiting factor hasn't been how fast my uh, single lab here can do the science the limiting factor has been how many sciences i've got available to do because i'm still trying to produce the next science pack so i will probably knowing me i will probably try and finish all of the non-infinite sciences before i call the game one but i'm not going to try and desperately go for doing 10,000 deep space science per, per minute or whatever whatever objectives people sometimes set themselves because that way lies madness and I'll probably have had about enough of the game at that point and I won't want to just I won't want to sort of massively increase the parallel lies of it it's probably that one there's one of my one of my LTN trains um, brings back it goes out to pick up memory cards <coughs> But brings back both memory cards and duff memory cards. So those LTN warnings are actually absolutely fine. I'm not worried about them. Um, it does mean I can't see any LTN warnings that are warning about things that aren't fine. Um, but I'm just going to keep my head buried in the sand about that. What is... Oh. Oh, a rocket crashed. Right, so over here we need to have a requester chest that requests all of the I don't know if we've got any of these that requests all of the vulcanite so it can actually be brought over here because a vulcanite rocket has crash landed which is very very unhelpful um I don't know how I still kept I have managed to keep my UPS up at about about 60 he says just it drops to about 50 um I guess my computer is just about powerful enough oh let's get rid of that and then I'll definitely have the bits I need um my computer is just about powerful enough. I'm running in Linux rather than Windows, so there's less overhead um, and probably a better operating system that's better at sort of scheduling stuff. Generally, it, it hasn't been an issue, to be honest. This isn't going to work, is it? Because all of my uh, logistics bots, um, all my construction bots, are sitting here holding Vulcanite. So none of them are going to come over here to do this bit. Ah, for goodness sake. It's damn rockets that don't go where they're supposed to rage um okay well i shall put that on the list of things to fix at some point probably um <laughs> where's my list here's my list uh tulip crashed rocket i can kind of read that even though it's my own handwriting i can almost read it um my pc is a uh cat proxy pu info Le uh, less can't type. There we go. It is a it's a it's a Ryzen 5 3600 XT. So um, yeah, do with that information what you will. Uh, I think it scores. I want to say it scores an 18,000 on CPUbenchmark.net if you want to directly compare it to anything else. But if someone who isn't isn't trying to stream at the moment wants to go off and uh, and verify that, that would be lovely. Um, because I'm not going to. Right. So I need to get some. I've got two construction bots at the start, um, and a logistics bot, and right, let's go and try and find some more construction bots. I think a lot of it, it comes down to, it comes down to a few, a few things, like partly how, how efficiently you build, how, um, how, and how big you build. So if you've made, if you, if you, if you're working on a massive mega base, uh, that's doing science, that's sort of trying to do 60 science per second or something ridiculous like that, um, then you're going to struggle, your, your computer's going to struggle a lot more than mine, which is trying to do, um, potentially up to 12 a minute, which is obviously, which is somewhat less, should we say. Where are all my construction bots? Why can I never find construction bots when I want them? I did some construction down here fairly recently, so there should be some down here. There's one. There's four. <laughs> oh, here's here's lots. All right, let's take let's take all of those. Right. Okay. So that's 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 that. Have I got? I still haven't got any antimatter. How much antimatter has been made so far? Okay, we're very nearly there. 
this is at uh, 24,000 and it needs, needs to be at 25,000. How much do these make at a time? Fifty. That's kind of feels kind of stingy, but yeah. Um. Ooh, lots of talkings. <laughs> no, I'm not playing with K2. Just playing. Um, just playing vanilla space exploration, as it were. My plan is once I finish this run, I'm going to start play. I'm probably going to play Dyson Sphere program. Uh, once. My friends and I, who are pl currently playing um, through a Minecraft Dungeons and Dragons and Space Shuttles run on air, that those stream on Mondays, but not next Monday because I'll be busy. Um, once we finish that run, then we're going to do a, a group K2 SE run, and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so that's going that's going to be a, a challenge, should we say? Um, Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how this computer copes with the uh, Dyson Sphere program. I've got um, I had I do have 32 gig of RAM, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons Space Shuttles is kind of kind of big as mod packs go. I'm mostly doing the the magic stuff. Other people are doing some of the more technological things. So it, it has it means some um, interesting uh, interesting conversations, should we say? <laughs> Come on, go faster. Uh, Yeah, so the point is, it, it's this one here, I think, where we've got, it might be, yeah, it's probably probably this one, where we've got both the um, the Duff memory card, junk data cards, and broken data cards coming out, and I didn't have a setup that was neatly going to deal with them, so I thought, because they all need to go to the same place, or they can all go to the same place, let's just say, forget it, shove them all in the same boxes. The train can come along here and pick up all of the stuff. It'll pick up both both types until it's full enough, and it doesn't seem to complain too much, and it does actually basically just work, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I well, I guess that's 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 all come down to the scale of the summit. We'll 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 see whether if if, if mine's running significantly better than yours, um, or then then that maybe that's the that's the OS difference. If not, we'll. Well, we'll see. But maybe I maybe I won't try and build a, the, the biggest possible Dyson Sphere. We shall we shall see. I mean, I I don't know. I don't know enough about the game yet to really really know exactly what I'm going to be doing. So we'll um, we shall see. It'll be an it'll be an interesting learning process. <laughs> um, I don't think I could do a stack per swing with these inserters. Um. Because the stack the stack size is 50, but I could set them to 10 at a time. That might work quite well. I haven't, but I could. But it seems it seems to be all right, and I haven't had problems with trains getting stuck here. All right, rather, I haven't noticed a problem with trains getting stuck here. Um, yes, I probably should make an antimatter plan uh, plant at some point. Uh, th this one is just a sort of let's get this thing going. Let's see what how much demand there is and that sort of thing. And when this inevitably isn't powerful enough, I don't know. I'll either massively expand these part of these um, plasma generators and the uh, particle accelerators and the material fabricators down here, or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do it somewhere else. But for for now, this is going to be enough just to get things trickling over. I hope. I think. It's just being. I, I I'm watching an antimatter. You know what they say. An anti I watched antimatter stream never boils, so I shall try and stop watching it. Um. Yes, I was having some issues with um, uh, with with streaming earlier, see, same. Um, so it, it turned out in the end to be due to me having reinstalled uh, my operating system and not having reinstalled um, OBS, and that was causing some sort of problems. So it was it was actually down to that rather than anything else. But um, the first one of the first things I tried was um, was was, was t set setting it to just stream to Twitch rather than streaming to both to see if that would help. Um, it turned out it obviously it didn't actually help, but um, or it didn't make any difference. But I didn't then get around to switching back. And to be honest, I'm trying to push people towards Twitch anyway. So um, and I'm not, and yeah. So you think of it as, as, as a bit of an excuse that way. Oh, this is expecting something now. What's it expecting? It's expecting Ma Matthew, um, Matthew Garstecki, so that's good. That's um, that means antimatter. So good. Right. Okay. So we're about to have some antimatter come in. We'll, we'll see if this starts working. Then I can fly this 
the, but the spaceship off. Probably I'll probably send it to Realm of Shadows first, just because that's a, a friendly place where it can go. Or maybe I'll look for a closer one and um, and try that one instead. We'll uh, we'll see. Um, but at least, uh, either way, I'll send this off somewhere. It can then I can then use this to deploy the um, deploy the, the system. We'll launch some Arcosphere generator collector things. See how many Arcospheres we get, and then we can start looking at how to how to monkey around with them. So let's have a look. Arcos, no. Uh oh, right. Arc, Arco spheres. Here we go. So we get these things. You then put them through a grav facility. They turn into. Oh yes, I remember. You get, you get four. You put four in. You get four out, in, out, in, out. Shake them all about. Um, but it random. Yes, this thing randomly switches between doing one recipe and doing the other recipe. So, eventually, you'll get at least some of everything. <clears throat> why it does that rather than just having all of these as being 0.5 priority I'm not sure possibly because that way if, if, if they're all 0.5 sometimes you might get more than four or less than four back in fact most of the time you get more or less than four back so that's probably why so then I'll have a bajillion of these um, and I'll need to try and, and then I need to try and convert them between one type of arcosphere and another type of arcosphere and we've got two types of recipes for this haven't we? we've got the folding that turns in this case an epsilon and an amiga into a lambda and a gamma or there's inversion which turns a zeta a theta a gamma and amiga into a lambda a psi an epsilon and a phi okay so this is going to be interesting um i think what i'm going to have to do is sketch all of this out on paper and go well what are the different directions what are the different recipes what are the different things that can be done um, and what do they do and then try and come up with some sort of system so I mean in theory the basics of it is going to be fairly simple if you've got too many of one type of arcosphere and not enough of another then you get your swap matorium for processes to, to, to go from the from the recipes that have got lots too many arcospheres the ones that have got not not got enough um and that's an incredibly sim incredibly simple on the surface of it but it's not going to be that simple to implement it especially as each time each each one of these takes 100 seconds crafting time that's, that's quite slow so you don't want to be doing anything oh these actually these only take 10 seconds so we'll use these if we can um but yeah, I'm going to need. I'm, I think I'm going to need to write all this down on a very large piece of paper, and then um, and then go from and, and go for, and, and sort of try and work out the sensible way of doing it from there. But my gut feeling is that whilst this is going to be complicated, it's not going to be. I don't think it's going to be impossibly so. I mean, this is probably a um, uh, what's the word? Um, famous last words sort of thing. Um, but we'll see I guess <clears throat> um, and then dealing with them on the other side on the output is going to then be interesting of course um, so what do I actually let's have a look at what I need for Deep Space Science Catalog 3 so here we need Zetas and Omegas which gives me back Lambdas and Phi's so I wonder if there's a uh, my brain is full already so we're turning um, Zetas I'm reason I'm, I am sort of loosely familiar with the um, Oh, oh, I see. Ah, right. Okay. So yes, this one that takes our takes our uh, takes zetas and omegas will sometimes give back phi's and sometimes give back lambdas. Right. Gotcha. Good point, Peter. Thank you. Um, I think what I'm going to want to have is a central storage that basically just has all of the arcospheres in it. Whether this is going to be a warehouse or multiple warehouses or various chests, I've not yet decided. But then. If, if I can fit it all around a single warehouse, it would be quite convenient to have um, a system that just grabs when there's too many of one and turns them into the others. So, but as I say, I'm going to need to look into all of the, all of the numbers. And then anything like this space dilation data, which takes in arcospheres and produces arcospheres, we can just feed these back into the um, into the into the storage warehouse. And then the storage warehouse can go, okay, I've got too many of this one and not enough of this one. Let's do some more, some extra generating. Um, yeah, and that's... Yeah, you, you, you're all basically saying saying what I'm thinking, or at least I say all. You're both saying basically what I'm thinking. Um, 
that yes i have i have them stored somewhere and i'll keep an eye on the numbers of them and then when there's too many of one and not enough of another um or greater numbers of one and compared to the other then we'll have to have it do some some passing back and forth and swapping around and that sort of thing so yeah i am cautiously optimistic how's what are you doing Nothing. Why are you doing nothing? What are you doing? Also nothing. Oh. Right. Okay. I see what's gone wrong there. So. This needs to be a filter inserter. <laughs> uh, that only outputs those things. Which are in here. Those things. Whitelist them, yeah. So take all them back, put them all in hit back in here, and things will hopefully start working again. Oh yeah, yes. I mean the the advantage. My, my I don't I don't want to use bots to move the stuff move move the archospheres around. That's not um the sort of thing. Oh my God, how much does that take? We've so these take 10 antimatter canisters, and to make an antimatter canister uses a thousand antimatter. So each one of these takes 10,000 antimatter. So, so I've probably managed to make two Arcosphere collectors with that. All right, I take it all back. I need a much, much better production of antimatter. And also, making these things over here is a bit going to be a bit ridiculous because every time a train comes over, it's going to only be able to make two and a half. Um, two and a half canisters from a train load. Um, um, hmm. Oh, very true. Yes, I mean, uh, yes, I will use logistics system or, or at least the, uh, the cable, the yeah, uh, the wi wiring uh, circuits, the circuit network to keep track of yeah, to keep track of how many um, how many arc of each type of arc sphere I've got. Yeah, I mean. I, I, I thought that was a given. I didn't need to didn't need to explain that part of it. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's just yes, just how 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 this game works. Uh, right. Um, hmm. So this, I hadn't I hadn't clocked just how much antimatter this the, making these things was going to use. Um, have, have, has this actually made any yet? Yes, uh, two. Okay, now that, that actually that that fits. So yeah, we'll call. So it depends how many of these these um, Arcosphere collectors I'm going to need to go after. I don't know. I don't know whether each one of these I launch is going to come back with one Arcosphere, or ten Arcospheres, or a hundred Arcospheres. I just I, I, I don't know. Um, all of the other things that's where we launch probes, they'll come back. With, they come back with a thousand of the thing that they collect. So, I think, given at the moment, I'm sort of doing proof of concept type stuff. Let's. There's no point in me going with it actually. One to six. Oh great. Um, I was going to say four sounds familiar, but that's actually just that's just the number that's used for the next thing. Um, Let's do a proof of concept and send the spaceship off and try and be. And while this is flying out to Realm of Shadows, I'll beef up everything else. So how much how much hot have you got? Nine thousand three hundred. That's plenty. Um, have you got everything you need? You've got two of these things. That's that'll do. You've got all. Oh, you haven't got any robots. Let's take out some robots. Um, yeah. So we'll fly this out. We'll see what it see what it comes back with. And sort of go from there to an extent, I guess. Um, don't you don't need logistic bots? You do need construction bots. There they are. Twenty nine will be enough. <clears throat> I should probably pull up that robot port so that this one isn't linked. And that that robot port <laughs> so that this one isn't linked to anything. Um, that's going to make it a bit awkward to reload this with um, with the Arcosphere pods, but never mind. Again, proof of concept for now. So let's send this off to uh, off to Realm of Shadows. Let's try and actually use the game interface properly. Go to Realm of Shadows. G 
کرد Yeah, I, I I know you get yeah I know the more times you launch the fewer you'll get back in return. Um, it did it did say diminishing returns in quite big letters on the um, <laughs> on the thing. Um, so yeah, I'm not expecting I'm expecting it to go down. However, um, I'm expecting to get at least some from this launch. Um, I guess we'll see how it goes. Uh, Okay, Peter. Well, thanks. Thanks for joining, and um, I hope it's been. I hope you've enjoyed the stream, and it's been been good fun. And you will see you. I won't see you next week because I won't be streaming next week because I'm going to be in the theatre and is it shit because it's show week. But I'll be back the week after as normal, and probably I'll, I'll try and get YouTube up and working again then as well, of course. Uh dear. Right. Yeah. So we'll send it out. We'll see what it gets. And at this point, I'm hoping it'll get lots. The chances are, it sounds like it's going to get like maybe six if I'm lucky. Um, Yes, I, I've, I've worked that one out, and there are plenty. There are plenty of asteroid fields out there. So, to be honest, why am I sending it to Realm of Shadows? Why don't I send it to Caltrops first? Let's do. Let's do that. Um, you actually go to Caltrops because it's nearer. Uh, only four minutes away. Much better. Yeah. So we'll we'll go out there. We'll launch a few from there. Um, see how many we get. Uh, I'd say few. I mean, launch both of them from there. See how much we get. Um, then the ship, ship, ship can come back. We'll uh, reload and hopefully have some. And, and yeah, I, I need to start thinking about um, generating um, stuff, uh, generating the um, antimatter in significantly larger quantities. So let's get some more of those plasma generators because that's the, the bottle. That's definitely the bottleneck at the moment. Uh, plasma generators. Let's have twenty of them. Um, and then I can go out and put those out. Yes, I'm still going on the um, putting everything in the same place approach at the moment, which is I I, I accept, fully agree is isn't the best way to do things, but it's what I'm doing for now. Um, even if shipping it all over by um, uh, by train is going to be a bit silly and a bit slow, so I should probably be putting it in canisters over there as well. But still, we can get the um... <laughs> good. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, see you in a couple of weeks. Um, yes, Caltrops don't sound the safest place to fly through, but never mind. We'll, we'll see. If we'll, uh, I'm sure the ship will be okay. It's got shields and everything. Right, so we've got some plasma generators. We've got a decent chunk of the um, space scaffolding, but let's get a bit more anyway. Um, let's take these logistics bots and put them in there. Um, spare rope. No. I don't need to have that many roboports. I don't, certainly don't need to have that many LTN stations. What the hell? Why, have I, why, why is 11 an appropriate number to have? Why? Are, I mean, I, yeah. That's even, that's even more ridiculous. Why are there silly numbers on so many of my um, requests? Like this. Why is this 21? Oh, I think I can remember. I think I messed up ages ago. And it's just been stupid ever since. Um, well, there they are. 11. No. Be 10. 10 is a good... 10 is a sensible number. 10 is a good number. Be sensible. I don't think I need to have delivery can stuff in my inventory all the time. I certainly don't need to have spaceship consoles. Uh, repair packs would be nice, but I don't seem to be getting those. All right, that's a bit more sensibilized. Let's 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 go with that. Okay, so now I can fly fly back over there. Put down some more um, plasma generation, um, and that should allow the um, hopefully allow the the next two steps of the of the process to run a bit more um, efficiently is the wrong word. A bit more constantly. Constantly is a good word. I might even put down some more solar as well while I'm here, but we'll see if I've got enough um, uh, space space station scaffolding for that first. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I had a brief panic that I need I was going to need more of these machines as well, but no, I don't need I don't need particle accelerators making the ion stream in order to make the uh, the pinks to make the purples, so that's fine. So I'm going to need basically all of this <clears throat> again and again and again. So let's take all of that. And if I put that there, then I can yeah do that. Um, it turns out I need a bit more underneath here, and a lot more across here. That. 
and that. And I think, yeah, I do. I definitely want to have a lot more of this available because I'm pretty sure this is sort of the, the limiting factor of everything I'm trying to do at the moment. There we go. Why do you not have power? Because I need to put in more of these, like that. There we go. I've run out of modules, which makes this a little bit pointless, but oh well. Um, if I take these modules back, and my bots just put them in all kinds of stupid places, yeah, put, put them in this machine, in this one, then they'll affect everything, and that's a bit more effective, efficient, and stuff. Oh, have you got all the ones you... What are you expecting? Six more speed modules, okay. Stop putting them in there. There we go. Why are none of these running? Okay, because none of this is connected up. Um, hang on, what? What? What is all this? I know, okay, I know the ones on the bottom are for. Why have the, oh, there's nothing coming in at the top. That's why these aren't running. Um, that should not be there. That should not be there. Okay. Uh. You'd think just slapping down a blueprint would be safe, wouldn't you? But no, of course it isn't. Is that too... Okay, where's it broken now? I bet I'm getting through the... Um, I know there's just an extra one in there. Right. I was going to say I bet I'm getting through this uh, chemical gel faster than it can be brought in. But actually this seems to now be working. Right, and this plasma stream pipe is not overfilling, so that suggests we're um, shipping it through as quickly as possible. That's half full. Sure, okay. All right, down here now, you should be filling up a bit more. I said you should be filling up a bit more quickly. That's no better than it was before. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, I've like tripled the amount of plasma stream we're producing. It doesn't seem to have made any noticeable difference. So these spikes are each time one of the um, material fabricators kicks in. They haven't got any more, any closer together. So despite me, tr what? How is that even possible? Despite me tripling the uh, th power th throughput, the uh, the plasma generation rate, it's still just sitting, sitting there going, "Well, there's not enough plasma strip." How is that even possible? There's a lot more machines making it now. It's being fed into the right place. I don't know why there's a, a random pipe there. That shouldn't be there. And nor should that one. In fact, a lot of these pipes shouldn't be there. But that doesn't matter. They're not... Um, yeah, and these are all running. The pipes aren't filling up so it's obviously being drained and going somewhere useful but it hasn't actually made the speed run it hasn't made these machines run any faster <laughs> what the hell and there's no point in having two of these down here I might as well pull this one up because that then stops when it does fill up re when there's only one of them it fills up pretty quickly but I mean that's You'd, you'd hope, wouldn't you? But it's still not... It's, even with that, even with only one machine granted full of speed modules, it's still not enough for it to run constantly. <sighs> How many more of these have I got? I've got another eight. <clears throat> I'm worried about the throughput of the chemical gel. Although, actually, it seems to be holding up okay. Uh, let's put in a few more. Oh, is it, is it, it's not a power problem, is it? I don't think so. Ooh, it's hard. To, it's kind of hard to tell. Spikes up to. Okay, it is a it, yeah. There's a power problem. I'll go and look at that in a second. Right. Okay. So 
definitely going to be a problem along here with yes there is that and that and that and that okay so they're all running now that's good that's a good sign <laughs> let's go and get some more power okay well thanks for watching i'm glad you've enjoyed it and um so yeah i'll look, for, look forward to seeing you next time and um yeah Enjoy your uh, sleep and your school and your anything else that happens. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, that is right. What? This game has a mind of its own sometimes. I did not put down most of that. Um, that oh, goodness sake. That extra splodge of, um, what's the name? Scaffolding up there. Point six gigawatts available. Obviously, it's never gone above one point six gigawatts because we don't have that. There isn't a. That's probably probably going to be enough. Um, enough power. So wait for this to. I'm waiting for this to kick in so I can see how much. Uh, oh. We've got a fluid crisis problem of the uh, frustrating sort, where we've got so much of the warber stuff that we can't get any more shipped in. I mean, that it can't unpump any. So we'll do that, and then that, and link us in here. Now this this happens every so often, and it's bloody annoying every single time it does, um, that you end up with all the fluid getting... All of these, some, some somehow, these machines all dump their tanks at the same time, and you overflow with the... Um, with the warm thermofluid or it all gets no probably more likely it all gets slurped away into all of the buffers then the train comes out and refills the tanks then it dumps a load of it and everything breaks and like get cross <laughs> basically okay now now it's waiting for a pink cloud to come in and so is that one so in that spike we went up to 1.5 gigawatts and we've got 1.6 gigawatts available so i think we're probably okay I probably could take out one of these machines because they don't seem to be the limiting factor. Um, it's a bit ridiculous that all of this is not capable of feeding one of these and two of these, but what can you do? Still, um, how are we doing over here? 12. Great. Have we made any more of these? I think my next question. Nope, we haven't had another train load come over yet. We've still only made two probe rockets. Oh, speak. Let's let's now. I've, it's probably been long enough that I can go off and look at um, uh, Caltrops, which is this one. Actually, no, I can't. I need to look at the donut. Uh, this one, this ship, and tell it to land somewhere out here. So, anchor to Caltrops. Uh, yes, sure. Uh, wherever. In fact, let's land here, and then I can put the um, <clears throat> then I can put the uh, rocket thing on rock instead of on um instead of on on space silo uh sp space scaffolding so i want to put down one of the, 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 these you know what i didn't do? didn't bring i didn't bring the um logistics chests i didn't put logistics chests into this so i could request and i didn't bring logistics bots either on oh, no <coughs> <coughs> Oh, uh, I um, thought it through so hard and then missed out missed out some really obvious things. So let's let's undo that. This is now going to have to come back to um, to Norvis orbit, which is a bit bloody stupid, but never mind. And I'll try again, but this time I'll try and remember to actually I'll I'll I'll, I'll learn from what I just did then and try and put the correct things in its inventory. So. It's going to need some logistics bots. Don't let me forget the logistics bots because I'll feel really stupid if I do. We also need um, a. I just. It has to, I need a, need a requester chest. Might as well have a provider chest if, but I don't know if there's any real point because I'm just going to pull them pull that up. So it's going to end up back in the um, in the yellow chests here. Um, four and a half minutes, okay. Uh, such a little thing to have forgotten. Um, 
Actually, there's one here. There's a request chest here. I could have... Let's stop. Let's, let's try it again. I reckon I probably can do it with what I've got in the ship already. Let's try and do it again with a bit less fail this time. Especially if I use the bots to rip up a few of these things around here, like that one. Um, maybe one that's not got the, maybe one that's not got many hundreds of things in it. Uh, that would that one will do. Yeah, I can pull up that one with the bots. Um, pull up one of these for it to empty into, and then I can de demolish that as well. Yep, this sh this should work. <laughs> True. Yeah, and it's just it's something I can just mess. It's, it's something else to mess around with while I'm waiting for enormous quantities of antimatter to get made. Um, I think I might need to make something that just makes antimatter canisters somewhere else because shipping antimatter around by train is is, is, turning, is going to be a bit of a nonsense to be honest. Right, let's try that again. So, I need to demolish that and place this here and this here and the, 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 here we go, inserters, that's what I was looking for, that there and there, and then another chest, what have I even, okay, that works, um, right, and then this one needs to request the, them, and Pro, not problem. Probe rockets. Yep. Um, and request from buffer chests. Oh. Needs logistics bots. Or it won't work. Okay. I have screwed it up. I do need logistics bots for this to work at all. Alright. Let's pick that back up again. Just in case I decide not to go here for whatever reason. Right, going again. <laughs> okay, so where shall I make um, where sh where shall I make antimatter? Possibly the ob there, there are two there are two obvious answers. One is to do is to put in another spur out about here and do my antimatter construction out here somewhere. The other possibility is to go further up here. I could go further down here because there's lots of room that I haven't started using yet. Um, oh, you might be right, Leopard. Um, I'll try and do it properly, though. I suppose I could put it up here above the uh, the rocket science. I'm, that's that's never going to get any bigger. In fact, probably none of these are going to get. Well, this one's going to get bigger, but none of the other ones are going to get any bigger because why would they? I've I've, I've done. All, I've finished all of those now. Um, I think probably. Oh no, this is going to get a little bit bigger because at some point I'm probably going to try and make tier 9 um, uh, modules as well. So I guess that comes down to suggesting that off this way is probably the best idea. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's extend this a little bit further. So, this. I don't want all of that. I want that bit though. And I don't want this. The collecting the um, uh, methane ice for, for it to turn into oil was, was a nice idea for a little while. But the deposit of it available was so small, it just wasn't worth it in the long run. Um, it just wasn't practical. I needed a lot more um, a lot more methane ice than I had available with the uh, assist system, basically. In... in, in in this in, in 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 this area, right? Let's go and get some more space rail. <clears throat> I don't have a good answer for that scale summit. It's just it's um a lot of the space the space sciences have their catalogs being produced at one every five seconds because that was a convenient number. Um, and it seemed to be enough, but in this game, I mean, in in this mod pack, I've not really been I've not been going for the um, 
for the science per minute um, objectives. I've been just trying to get through it and get stuff done, really. Um, so, I was going to say that 5 per second means 12 per minute, but you don't, you don't use science like that in this game. Sometimes you'll be researching something that's um, astro-based, sometimes you'll be researching something that's um, energy-based, sometimes it'll be deep space science-based, and so on. Um, so, it's yeah it, it's not it's not it's not it's kind of not relevant the uh, the science is being done faster than i can come up with things i want to the science is being done faster than i'm coming up with new science packs to do research with put it that way so at the moment i've done basically pretty much all the ones i want to do um that aren't that don't require at least they're the lot that don't require deep space science too <coughs> There's a few more advanced things that'd be quite nice, like wide area beacons. I'm sure, that'd be great. Uh, maybe doing another mining productivity would be nice. But or worker robot speeds, these sort of things. But all of the stuff that's that's interesting, like the um, the long range star mapping or all of the things down here, they're all done. So or antimatter production, antimatter end reactors, engines, and so on. Um, they're all done. I'm not really waiting for science. I'm not waiting for I'm not waiting for science to get done. I'm waiting for me to produce more science. I'm waiting for me to produce more types of science packs so that I can do more types of science. Um, if I was playing, sure. If I was playing, and I think a science per minute is something you you do once you've finished. Once you once you've got the um, the base game, whatever it is, whether whether you're playing vanilla or Angel Bob's or space exploration or whatever. Once you've finished and you've done all of the non-infinite science then you start trying to do um then you start trying to do science per minute and worrying about that and how, how fast you can make your base go until that point there's there's, there's no point because i can I mean, the the the, ba the, 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 the the speed i'm producing the science packs at yeah sure i mean it could always be faster but it's not really the limiting point the, the limiting factor in what i what i can get done the limiting factor is how quickly I can wrap my head around um, arcospheres, and at this point is also how quickly I can produce um, um, what do you call it? Uh, antimatter. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. That is just past here. That's good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to need an unloading station. Um, this is sort of the a defaultish one. I'm going to need the fluids, and I'm going to need probably need some solids. What I should actually be doing at this point is redesigning one to use the um, the warehouse unloading system that I've been talking about quite a bit. Um, do I want to right now? Maybe I should actually. That'd be something. To, yeah, it'd be something to play with. And I've been, it's something I've been talking about and meaning to do. So let's yeah, let's do that. So we have that there. In fact, I'm going to redesign this entire thing now. I now I think about it. Um, so no. Almost none of this is going to be as I've um, just, just, just well, as I've just made it, in fact. Uh, okay, so what have I got room for? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So let's pull up. Firstly, let's unprogram this so I don't get things I don't want turning up. Uh, then let's unprogram all of these just so I can tell what's not going on. Then, let's pull up all of this, because I'm not doing it like this anymore. And I'll put in a warehouse there instead. And this means, what I'm going to do then is black blacklist, ugh, blacklist on all of these. And pull up these. Like so. Um, and pull up all of this as well. Right, so this can now unload everything straight into this one into this one warehouse. So it'll unload three times as fast as the previous design did, and I probably don't need more. Than, and then I can have as many different unloaders off this warehouse as I can fit around it. So normally I reckon on having two belts per um, per resource. So around here I could fit three, six. So I could potentially unload nine resources from here, and I think there's room for depending on how you count. Uh, there's certainly room for five or six resources in here, so this will be sli a slightly more um, efficient way of doing d doing things. Um, 45 science per minute. Yeah, I think 
I think when I'm when I'm when I'm doing this sort of, when I've been doing the vanilla parts of it, I think I've been targeting about one one science per second, just because it's an easy way to do the numbers. So if we look down here on Norvis, what we've we got, we've got um, okay, purple science as an example. Um, it takes it's a 21 second craft time, um, and I've got uh, but to do do that produces three, so it produces one. So you need if you want to produce one every second, you need to have seven machines doing it. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I'm producing quite a bit quicker than that. I'm producing about like two a second of the purple science. Um, yellow down here is this one is five every. 35 seconds. So again, it should be seven of these, and there's more than that. So yeah, I'm producing at, at several per second. Let's look at some of the older ones down here. Green, what are you doing? Green. Uh, oh, actually, these are blue. Blue. Uh, these are only three, run at three quarter speed though, so it's slightly less than that, that per second. Um, but these are, again, this is a two every 10 seconds. So every five sec, every five seconds, it produces each of these produces ones. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got I've got two machines per two machine seconds, but the machines are only running at 0.75. So I've got one and a half per second, I think. Uh, so ninety so ninety science per minute. There you go. There's a, there's an arbitrary there's an arbitrary number that I seem to have gone for with all the all the Norvian sciences. Uh, the the other the later ones can well they can go hang on. They're they're, they're going to happen at a different speed because they're more difficult. Right, so to make um, to make antimatter, I need a supply of um, what do you call it? Uh, it's a fluid now, isn't it? A, a supply of the uh, chemical gel. I need a supply of stone. Uh, stone stacks up to a hundred, I think. So that's four hundred per no, that's four thousand per train, uh, which means I should be requesting it at minus eight thousand. Um, is that it for antimatter? Antimatter takes um, particle stream, but that particle stream is made. Oh, and I need coolant as well. Which, oh, material testing packs and plasma, which comes from stone chemical down. So material testing packs is another thing I need. Um, material testing packs um, there, and these stack up to ten, which means four hundred per train, which means it should be minus eight hundred. Um, also going to need coolant coming in, which is thermofluid, warm thermofluid is minus 25,000, easy. I'm going to need another fluid unloadery here. This now also therefore needs to be a request stack threshold of 40. Let's do this. Let's, let's set one of these up properly for a change and a, f and a request threshold of 25,000. Right. That should... And I don't act... Oh no. I should have a provide stack threshold. Uh, provide threshold, rather, of about 100 million. Because I don't think I've set this properly on... Oh, well, gig, that'll do. I don't think I've set these numbers properly in this particular game. Right, so, tanks here as well. Like that. Um, this, so I'm going to need to... Right, this is going to be this is going to be one of the more complicated trains systems. So I need to now, well, LTN station. So I need now need to go off and watch my video that went up last week and learn how to do these again. Uh, <laughs> so let's do the easy part first. Um, wire all of this up like that. Uh, then need a green cable goes from there to there. I suppose might as well go to there as well and then to there. Uh, and then we say on this one, if you have if you see any. Um, thermofluid then unload and this one we say if you see any chemical gel then unload uh, we need power here as well actually so let's stick in some um, uh, let's stick in a power a power plant first over here like like this uh, This is obviously going to need to be a lot bigger than this once I get around to actually producing any um, antimatter. But for now, we'll just put in a little bit. And da, 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 pylon. Uh, I said pylon. There we go. That can go. Mm. 
Actually, let's put it here, then it'll just power everything. Right, so now, we, now we've got power here, we've got requests set up. I think now it's probably safe to, to uh, trigger this and ask it for stuff. But you know what, for the sake of tidiness and things not looking stupid, let's do that. <laughs> It does. It does bother me a little bit when when cables go across the uh, railway lines at ground level. I mean, I know it's just it's entirely cosmetic, but it still bothers me. Right. So we need to unload as well. So we'll put uh, over here. We've put in a pair of exerters like this, and we need a bit more of this around here, and then that can go up here and through there. Let's get rid of this one. There's only two things actually required for this so we don't need to take it we don't need that big a bus put another two here um so you two can do stone stone you two can do the um what's the name i was gonna say texture packs no um science but material packs testing packs there we go that comes around there like that like that Nice. So this, yeah, this station should now be able to merrily cope with all, all, the f all four things that are needed for the, um, for this, for this system, and having the, um, having the exerters along the side of a, a chest, of, of a warehouse like this, will mean it'll unload much more quickly because all, all of the, um, all of the inserters can work all of the time when something turns up, rather than oh, it only being the two that go into the specific chest. So this is a, is a much better design. Right. Um, now what? Is the next question. Um, we're going to need cool. We're going to need to cool the um, thermofluid, and that's going to need to be brought down to super chilled. Basically, I need to copy this and this, and try and get, and then just sort of increase the amount of everything I've got. Um, I think what I'm going to do first, though. Is go and see, see if I can put some um, um, logistics robots in that spaceship and send it off again because that's sort of my thing that I'm trying to still trying to test at the moment. So I'd like to get that working a bit more separately. And there's going to be a load of stuff I need in order to get this built up. So let's do that. Do 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 do. Fly all the way across the world. <laughs> yeah, space very much so. I my. With 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 the all the ground based stuff, I've been building it up in a sort of a, following the recipes backwards, doing the numbers, and and I, I and I did it I did it properly basically. Um, but for the space ones, I've just been going along, make, putting in one of each machine first, um, and then putting it and then uh, going through and fixing bottlenecks by putting in more of the machines that are needed. And people keep being rude about it and telling me I should go off and use um, rate calculators. But I'm not going to do that. I don't care how many times people say it. It's not the way I'm playing the game. I don't need to do that. What I'm going to do is... Um, uh, it's, it's far easier at this sort of scale to build to build one of each machine. Then go, okay, there's a there's a um, bottleneck here. There's a bottleneck here. I'll put in some more of this one. There's a, now there's a bottleneck here. I'll put in some more of this one. Good, now it's working at an appropriate speed. So that's what I've been doing. And... To be honest, that does work. It's it, it, it's absolutely fine. Right, let's find some coolers. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be tricky because I don't know if I've got these being made. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm going to need them eventually, but I'll get rid of it for now. I don't know why I'm requesting that. Uh, why have I got so many chests? Warehouses. Is there another? Is, is warehouses another one that's got? No, no. It's just asking for ten. That's a more sensible number. Get rid of those as well, because I'm going to need. I'm going to need all the space in my inventory I can get. I think at this point. And some bricks. Why have I got bricks? Okay. And those and that. Right. So let's see what I need. What I need to do. I'm going to need. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's. Let's find another place that's doing what I need already. So something like this. Let's take a copy of this one. Like that much. 
and the tiles as well. Yes, we'll have that. We'll create a blueprint for that. Um, and then I'll put down a blue chest because otherwise things will go a bit silly. And this blue ch into this blue chest, I shall put that blueprint I've just generated. And say, yes, request all of that stuff. I can have a look at this, make sure it doesn't get too stupid. And then pick up and then just grab this once it's got all the bits and pieces I need in it. Then I can go over and put the same blueprint down over on the other side of the base. Over here. Of course, this is the wrong way around. I can't flip it because it's full of um, liquid things. I could put it in here, actually. This kind of works. And then just bend those pipes up. Yeah, that, that'll do nicely. And then I can have massive um, banks of herds of wildebeest. No, um, massive banks of plasma generation off to the side here somewhere. Yeah, that'll, that, that, that'll, that'll do reasonably well, I think. Okay, so this is basically just filling up with the um, space platform scaffolding. But that's okay, because I'm going to need a lot of that. Everything else we've got, except for the, uh, the five-piece pipe. But that's fine, I've got some of those in my inventory. No, I haven't. Um, but I can. Uh, that one. <coughs> yeah, energy beaming is amazing. Um, maybe that's what I should be doing over there, actually, because that is going to be using a lot of power. Hmm. Yeah, to be honest, what I should probably be doing is linking together all of my power things. So all link all of these together so they can all share the um, share the part, share the uh, energy generation they've got. But maybe I'll yeah maybe I'll do that. That's not going to be too difficult, I think. I just, sort of the problem is I feel like I should use these sort of pylons just for the sake of um, of neatness. Uh, oh, sorry of cheap because they're cheap. Whereas but I've got I've got a decent supply of these being made so and they they reach twice as far and you don't have to put down um, space scaffolding underneath them. So maybe I'll do that instead. Uh, or maybe I'll, yeah, and then I could put in a beam receiver and just have all oodles of power. <laughs> I don't, maybe. You done? You done. Bing. There it is. Okay, let's go and put that down first. Yeah, I considered that. Um, I, I looked into t beaming to uh, to my um, in interstellar void uh, miner. For, uh, from 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 Kalidas, but it was like one percent efficient, and it was going to take about three million years to heat the um the 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 beam receiver up to actual to an actual functional temperature. So I decided actually that was a nonsense. I wasn't going to do it like that. Um, I, instead, I used the um the beam receivers on the spaceships to take out an enormous quantity of heat to um to Realm of Shadows, and when it's out there, it then makes really really hot steam. That allows you that, that, that then powers the uh, powers the base one when there isn't a spaceship there. So I've, I've, I've done I've, I've come up with what I think is actually a much cooler way of doing it. I mean I, I am ever so slightly biased. I will accept that, but I still think my way is cooler or hotter or I suppose because it's using 10,000 degrees steam. Done. Place, 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 place. All this stuff goes down as it should. Are you guys all done? I think so. Right, so now touch down over here. And link that to there. Like this. There we go. Right, so that goes in there now. These these kick in and start working as we'd expect. Rather gradually, but they do work. Um, I don't remember 100%. To be honest, um, I think it, I think it was about 1%, but I could, I could be wrong. Let's let, actually let's find out. So we'll go to um, go to Kalidas, grab one of these um, beamers. Where's that one going to? Uh, one that so I can I can re-aim easily enough. Where's this one? This one's going to Miokin. Okay, I'll borrow borrow this. Fire it at Realm, Realm of Shadows. No. I'm going to say Realm, Realm of Shadows. That one. Oh, no, it's 8%. 8% to Realm of Shadows, apparently. Still, it's not very good. Um, 
could have sworn it was less than that when I tried it before, but maybe not. Um... Yeah, so um, so I decided that way. And anyway, I decided that way wasn't good enough. I didn't like it. Also, I've got this wrong way around. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. I remember. Right, so I don't need that one. Cause it's only the super chilled I'm going to need. So we have um, super chill coming up here like this. We have warm coming out of here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of cool. The cool is filling up the, the chillers for going down to super chilled. That's uh, no, it's chilled, cold. And then those are going to the super, yeah. Okay, this, this, is, all, this is all fine. Uh, that's going to go there. This one's going to go probably there. One, two, three, yeah. Uh, put that in there like that. And more, 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 more. <sighs> Don't do that. And here, I guess. Like that. Ooh, like that. Belts, belts, belts. Right. There we go. This is now going to be my bus of all of the little bits and pieces I need. Maybe I should space this out a little bit to make it easier to get at the fluid. In fact, in fact I think I will do that since there's only going to be these four things on it. Um, and look, that's that's un using all of the un inserters to unload. It's much quicker. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the ship system is far more interesting and far more fun and there's more things to go wrong. So it's, it's obviously better. <laughs> that's how things work in this game, right? Okay, so first things second, or second things first, or whatever. Um, first thing is probably going to be to produce an enormous quantity of plasma. Um, and that's stone and chemical gel. Oh, we're going to have another thing over here as well. I forgot the. Uh, I forgot I was going to be feeding something out on this pipe as well. You know what, let's move this all across a bit. So we'll have these two here, next to each other, because that's, that's that should be fine. Um, and then we'll have a gap of two, and then the next solid. Sorry, the next, the next fluid. Then we'll just have the other two next, right next to them. In fact, actually, no better idea, come to think of it, I think, would be to put the... Yeah, because it's easier to, it's easier to, to split off and go, go underground with a, with a solid than a, than, a, than, a, than a fluid. So let's put this. Gap, gap. One, two. I need one more. Put this here. Then the two belts can go here and here. Like that. Right, so there's there's my supply of things. Then I'm going to need the uh, lots of these, which I've got conveniently. Um, Somewhere in my paste buffer, hopefully there will be... Yes, these. So let's put it the other way up to start with. Because then I can have more of them wrapped around the uh, around the beacons. So we want to put that... There's no... I haven't got um, <laughs> this this with them as well. So this is going to be, need to be a lot wider. Probably about that wide. Uh... So we're going to put this here, like that. Oh, let's 
make it a little bit longer just because just for the sake of it and then because so i can put in the the last a double thing of these like no i can't so i've run out <laughs> Grr. but then i'd also put in a row here i've not made it quite tall enough for that but you can see what I'm. You can see the general idea of what I'm going for here, at least, <laughs> even if I'm never making things quite quite as big as I would like to. Let's gain some a little bit of spare space clap for the scaffolding. I'll try and finish this off before I go. Yes, it was just one more across the top here. No, I've run out again. <clears throat> but these things are expecting stone and uh, chemical gel, and that's easy. Um, I can just feed that in from basically here. And like that. There we go. And then this turns into a seven. Yeah that these ideally would be a bit closer together but they they don't <laughs> what have I missed oh what do you mean can't connect systems differently there's no fluid in this other system and they're expecting chemical gel yes there's no fluid in this system <laughs> How is that a problem? Oh wait, oh no, it's the output side. Dope, idiot. <laughs> it should be down here. Where we then have the... Uh, nine, five? Yes. There we go. This one's the output, so that'll come up next to it. But sure, I'll put that in a minute. Here. Oh, <laughs> really bugs me. The, the uh, there's this thing where you click on a um, uh, something that you want to do, and it, or you you try and click somewhere on the on the screen to do a, a thing, and because a pop up has appeared there, and there's some random bit of information there, it teleports you off to a completely different planet. And says, oh, this must be the planet you're interested in. And you go, no. Show me what I wanted you to show me. And he goes, la 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 la, and you get more and more annoyed. There we go. Alright, plasma. Plasma is being plasmed. Uh, lots of these pipes are a nonsense. Let's get rid of them. And this should be a nice and easy to copy and paste basic design. Um, this is totally... Oh... This is overspilling a little bit, but oh well. I can now put in another bank of these above and more banks off to the to the right hand side if I want to as well. So <clears throat> yes, there's um there's plenty of potential here for making enormous quantities of um plasma. So let's put in a pipe. Okay, I can't. let's go and restock with all the bits and pieces that I've I've used up over here and now need more of. <laughs> Mostly um, modules, I think. Actually, that's one of the, one of the big things I'm uh, now short of. And of course, as always, this means a flight all the way across the world in order to try and get some more stuff. Maybe I should I should have started going off the other in the other direction. Actually, I should have gone. Well, actually, now I'll start building things out this way as well. But I don't really want to do that because this. This bus needs needs to have room to extend potentially forever. Now I could put it off on the north north side of it, but I'm probably not going to. Because as you see, as it came along here, I realised I hadn't left enough room for it. I had to kink it upwards. If I put stuff on the other side, there won't be room to do that. So um, yeah. 
Uh, yes, at the moment, antimatter production is the plan. Although that said, that I've just, it just occurred to me that this ship has now probably arrived back out at Caltrop. So let's let's have an, let's 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 have uh, attempt three at um, producing some blooming um, arcospheres. So we need. Is this, is this this in the pace buffer? Oh, yes. Put that there. That requests as expected. You are to. Ah oh, yes, you're to um, you know, just put in whatever it needs, and you put in whatever it needs. So this now makes the rocket. Good. Auto launch it with cargo. Sure. We put in. So we put in both of the rockets. Actually, no, it's got loads of rockets. It's only it's only these things that we're short of. <coughs> so this will eventually. <laughs> Actually, let's turn the auto launch with cargo off. That means I can go away and have another look over here. Yes, yeah, so I am I am currently working on an antimatter production facility over here. Um, so far, I've got as far as going, yes, I'm going to need quite a lot of plasma, aren't I? Um, and that's going to need a lot of modules, and that's going to need yada, 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 yada. Um, so let's increase that to, like, 400. Um, let's get rid of those and those. I'm going to need more plasma. Yeah, a lot more plasma generators. A lot more um, flooring. Um, did I have enough plasma generators for? I did, yes, I did. Did just about. I did just have enough. Well, I'd need one more, but I think I had probably had one left. Okay, so I can make this. In, I can make, do this, and then I can do another one of these directly above it, and that will produce me lots and lots of juicy plasma. Um, and then I can start using that. And then if, if and when I need more, I can put more out this way. Or potentially just copy the entire thing further up. So I think this will be perfectly suitable. Um, have I got... Uh, have I got a load of plasma generators? I have not got a load of plasma generators. Uh, 25? Seems like a reasonable number. Now I should probably take over the stuff I'm going to need for the next step as well. So after after you've made plasma, you can then turn it into iron stream, which I don't want. You can turn it into particle stream. That's the thing I need to do. So I'm going to need something to turn make sand. So that could be a that could be one of these machines, or you can make it a bit more efficiently. Yeah, you can make it more efficiently with a pulverizer. Do I have any pulverizers out here? It's probably going to be faster with a pulverizer as well. Let's request some pulverizers. No, I don't have any pulverizers, of course. I don't. That'd be useful. Could you? Could I also make it with a mechanical facility as well? That was when I was. Um. No, that way. Yes. Oh, okay, mechanical facility. That's the space equivalent then. Let's have some of those then. Mechanical facility. That one. And those I can have. Uh, then I'm going to need the um. Particle accelerators. Uh, let's take four of those, and then I'm going to need the uh, material fabricators. Two of those for now. Can I get two of those? I can get one of those. Okay. Well, at least that'll let me sort of spec the system up a little bit and uh, and see how see how it how it looks. Okay. Fly back over again. Then I can have another quick glance at uh, Caltrops. Uh, probably, actually, let, let's let's copy and paste the um, the plasma generation, and then uh, and then go back and, and do that. I'm going to need a lot more power generation over here as well, of course. What I've got at the moment is definitely not going to cut it once I start making things at full speed. There's no power here either. Um, I'll work on that in a second. But right, so I want to take that. And including the tiles, I want to copy it to there, like so. Donut, right, how are you doing? Got a rocket thing in the infantry. Uh, launch. Dun 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 dun. Whoosh, whoosh. More whoosh. There we go. Okay, rocket takes off, and then we get an enormous flood of 
four Arcospheres. <laughs> that was four. Oh no, five Arcospheres. Bonus. Goody. Right, well, we'll, uh, we'll launch the other one because it's here. Um, but and see how many see how many we get out of it the second time. Um, but I suspect, given this, given how simple this this setup is, there's no point in sending this ship to the same place more than once. So, if this comes back and I get another five, then I'll go. Okay, you can launch more than a couple. Maybe I'll go out and try and launch ten from each place. Um, but I suspect it's probably going to be the case. I'm just going to launch. I'm, I'm never going to send this ship back to Caltrops. At least not until I've. Not unless there's a very good reason to. Like I've been everywhere else. <laughs> Okay, that in there. Oh, that's sort of good, but also sort of bad. It looks like I'll put in a third row of these things then, and then we can all then we can all beacon nicely. Um, because these are yeah, these are covering up and down. I mean, I suppose in theory that means I should put in another row across the bottom here to make the most of these beacons. And I'll probably will sooner or later. And then another one across the top as well for the same reason. Uh, how much of this stuff have I brought? Probably enough. Probably enough flooring actually. It's just the all of the other stuff that I'm going to run out of. Right. And now I can put this in. And this time I can have the beacons. And there won't be a beacon overload because they're a bit more spread out. Um, yeah. But I'm also going to run out of... Um, what's my, what do you call it? Machines. Uh, which isn't exactly a surprise. But okay. okay, so we need another one of them there. And there. And there as well. Okay, so that's mostly okay. I won't put the one on the bottom in just yet, um, because that's going to be easy. But I will put in the one across the top, because that's going to be... Um... Um, what am I trying to say? The one across the top is going to be actually sort of vaguely... Um... <sighs> Words are hard. Uh, yeah, the, the row across the top is going to get in the way of all the other stuff I'm going to start building up here. So I, I want to have the um, I want to have the, de the design sketched out and in place before I start building the next the next rows of things. Because whilst I can put in more further up if I want to later, that's not not necessarily a problem. It's going to be a minor annoyance to do so. So I'd rather avoid it if I can. Okay, there we go. Put that in again. And now I am going to want the um, scaffolding up there at some point. But that's yeah, that's a good. A good build, I think. Okay. <clears throat> There's some issues along here, actually, looking at this. Let's do that and that. And. Oh. Um. Okay, that I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know why that one's. Oh, it's not running because it's not got power. Fine. Um, yeah. So, because of way the way these have lined up with the um, with, with 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 the beacon, uh, I can't put in the underground belt uh, underground pipe to go across there. So it's, it's a little bit unfortunate. I could have it go across here and then link up into here. That would work. I think I've done that somewhere else. But given the way this is set up, I think it's probably easier just to have the pipe go, just have a pipe go across like that. These can go straight through because there aren't any beacons. These ones will have to link across like that because there are beacons uh, here and here. Well, this one seems actually over here. It seems to be all right. That's interesting. Oh, uh, I don't. I won't say I don't care, but I think at the moment this is the this is the least of my worries. Right. So let's um, put in some pipes for this as well, so we can feed the. Uh, um. And the uh, plasma stream up here.
and then I'll go back and do a bit of a restock as well because I've run out of everything as usual. Uh, hang on a sec. If that is right. Yeah, that that is right. Yes, it's so. It's... Yes, I'll need another one. Another one of those up here. No. Right. <coughs> plasma, plasmid. Uh, let's put in some of this for bring all the other pipes and things up. Uh, it's going to need to be a bit wider, like that. And therefore I'm going to run out very, very quickly. Okay, so that is a massive plasma generation um, area, I think. I suppose it... Yeah, the... Um, the Arcosphere collection generation thing is going to be... Uh, I don't know. At what point... If you assume it's five at the start... And then after a number of launches, where the number of launches could be anything from um, one to ten, I don't, I don't know. Um, at some point, it's going to drop off, but we don't know what point that's going to be. So we've got ten this time, so that has that has come back full. But given how expensive the Arcosphere probe things are, if it's if if you if you're only getting four out, is that about? Does that mean it's time to go off somewhere else? Because you don't want, I don't want to be, um, I, uh, given how expensive they are, I don't want to be running at 80% efficiency, effectively. I don't know whether there's a minimum, I just know there's a diminishing returns. So diminishing returns could be anything from your first, oh, there's a crash bot there. Um, your first one gets five, your second one gets four, your next one gets three, and so on, to... After the first 10, it drops down to 4. After the first 100, it drops down to 3. I suspect it's going to be somewhere between those. <clears throat> but I don't know. Which is why I'm being a little bit cautious, given that these things are astonishingly expensive at this stage of the game. I dispute that. I'd say if I was only getting one Arcosphere per launch, why not just go to a different deep space place because you saw how quick and easy it was to deploy a um a spaceship to do to, to go there uh to do and, and how, how quick, quick it was to deploy the system to pick up the um uh, to launch the thing to get the arcospheres why not just go somewhere else and where there isn't a diminished where the returns haven't diminished and get a bit more and especially if especially if you're down to it only producing one per time it runs that's 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 terrible right why are you also okay you haven't got um the stone that's why that's fair enough <clears throat> I haven't seen anything that says it diminishes globally. Do you have... Um, is that something you know or something you're guessing? I need the input stuff for these these things as well. Um, things up here, and then here. Boom, boom. I've only got six pipes. Why have I only got six pipes? I mean, obviously, I've only got six pipes because uh, this is this requester is only two hundred, and I've used them all up. Um, but still, that seems ex excessively small. That's true. We will find out as we go, um, and it'll be exciting, and everyone will go, "Oh no!" And there'll be a wailing and a gnashing of teeth when nothing works properly, <laughs> as is traditional. It is the way. Right there, we go. Plasma, plasma, plasma. So next step. Interesting. I got the impression that the, the reputation of the spheres came from them being just so fiddly and awkward to um, to maintain, to manage, and and deal with, and <clears throat> and and process essentially. 
Um, but it sounds like you're saying it's not that. Hmm. Well, we shall see. I mean, that's all I can say at this point. We'll, uh, we'll we shall find out together. Won't it be fun? Where's that outside power? <laughs> there we go. Put that there instead. <laughs> uh, inserters, exerters, make, make sand. Okay, so we're we're low on power already. I can tell by how slowly everything's moving, but that's to be expected. And. I think I am going to set this up using a beam receiver. I think that's the only realistic way because we're going to use so much power here. I think it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> hey Ray, welcome. Thank you, thank you for joining the stream. I'm glad you're enjoying it, or glad you're uh, glad you're glad you're happy to see it. Rather, that's probably a slightly more accurate way of putting describing what you said. <laughs> uh, yeah, I shall be going for another you know, at least at least another half hour, I reckon, and then after that we'll see how um, how tired I feel. I've got a busy week coming up. Um, specifically next week, but from basically from from the weekend onwards, including the weekend, is going to be incredibly busy and frenetic. But uh, show weeks always like that. So what, you, what can you do? Okay, so we need particle accelerators up here, and I'll put that there. So I've got a bit of room to feed stuff into it. And you're to make um, you're to make a particle extreme, uh, particle extreme, a particle stream. Yes, like that. That's good. Um, we need a belt that comes along here, we need to feed this onto one side of it, and we need to feed the material packs onto the other side of it. Um, don't think I need chemical gel anymore, so I'm going to take up and do that, which would otherwise be naughty and risky. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm still not fully better, but I'm trying. <laughs> Doing my best. Um, why have I put that there? That's a silly place to put it. Put it there instead. Uh, then we go underground pipe, underground pipe, above ground pipe, underground pipe. Wait a minute, this isn't going to fit. Uh, who put this here? What's that doing? What's going on? Um, boop, 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 boop. Let's come across here instead. <laughs> Where it's slightly less in the way of other things. Then this one, we'll bring this up here. That's slightly too long, because of course it is. That pops up there. And I've run out of fives, so I've run out of pipes. Um, five would have been just would have been spot on. Okay, well, well that 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 feeds in there anyway. That's that's how that works. Um, and then we get the purple stuff out the top here. And that doesn't produce any other byproducts, does it? No, it's just the three inputs and one output. Excellent. So this can then come out to here, and it can go up the same place as the other as the other one because I'm replacing the the the, the stream is getting upgraded to to um, to plasma to, to plasma stream, whatever this stuff is, particle stream. Um, turn the so we turn the plasma stream into particle stream, then we can turn the particle stream into antimatter stream somewhere. Antimatter stream is from the particle stream and antimatter stream. So the next level up is going to be taking in the particle stream and the coolant as well and producing the antimatter stream. Okay. So we've got plenty of this. So let's carry on just sort of sketching things out because it's annoying not being able to put the pipes and stuff in, but it's also kind of convenient just to just put things down and get an idea of where everything's going to go. So we'll put this in here. I think a bit of a gap is probably a good idea. And you are going to be making antimatter. So we need to feed in particle stream. And we need to feed in coolant and warmant. Or feed in coolant and feed out warmant, I suppose, technically. Um, now this actually... actually uh, I could put it here, and that means I can then pull it out on, and put it onto a train as well from here. So let's, yeah, let's leave that being exported out to the side. That's probably a sensible. And then we can put that there and there. And there. 
The antimatter stream takes incredible amounts of energy to produce, which is part of the reason I'm just sort of sketching this out and not setting anything up to work yet. Um, it's because I know I'm going to need to have some sort of better um, energy production system for this area in order for this to have any chance of working at all. At the moment, I've got like 100 solar panels. I don't know, it's less than 100, like 50 solar panels down here. And obviously that isn't going to be enough. So I'm thinking of having a, having a, uh, a uh, beam receiver, which will be the first beam receiver I've had in orbit, actually. So it'll be um, mildly exciting. Where does that come out? There. Um, and then we'll see how we get on from there. So if we bring that across here to here and up like that. And then here, if I bring this, I think it's probably sensible to do this because then I can just copy and paste the whole thing as one single block. That's not going to work. If I have this here, yeah, there's still just about room for this. Yeah, that works quite nicely. <clears throat> oh, well, there's a... Someone's left a pylon in the way. <laughs> Bring this pipe up here as well. Uh, looks like at least a nine. Yeah, oh, spot on. I don't think I'm going to need this to go any higher up, but I might as well leave it available, leave the piping available, in just in case. Okay, so that's bringing in the um, bringing in the pink cloud, bringing in the three types, the uh, two types of coolant. Um, got the cold coming in here, warm coming out here. I'm going to need another pipe like that somewhere across here, probably because of the width of the machine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, and that there. And so now, if I just, I can, yeah, I can just copy and paste, basically all of this and it'll make me more and then as many times as I want over there to make more of these so that's good um, and this one as well I can copy paste this bit uh, that's too much I can copy paste this bit <laughs> to here and boom, there's another one. Just like that. Simple as that. Okay. The question is whether these will be able to keep up with sand production. I suspect they probably will. I'm not too worried about that. My biggest concern is the production of all of the, of the plasma down here. I could come through and put in faster, better, stronger um, uh, speed modules. But I probably won't. What I will do down here, as I said, is, is I'm going to put in um, something, some, uh, a, a water-based system. So here we will also start requesting ice. That means I'm going to need a couple of exerters here. Um, a bit more space to play with as well, please. Thank you. So it's going to put it on the far side. That's going to put it on the right-hand side, which becomes the far side. So if I do that, that's going to put it in the right place. That's going to get me a full belt out of this. Okay, then over here, then I can replace this with a with the, with my standard um, beam catcher system. Um, but let's okay, so let's fly off to um, Kalidus and get that set up. Yes, very low on power there. I've just basically I, I put the solar panels in as a sort of a well, I'm going to need to massively expand these later. And then I thought, actually, let's put let's let, let's use um, let's use a beam because it's going to be much more um, expandable, effective, just generally better. I think I can pull in gigawatts of power from that without too much difficulty. Um, in fact, let's out of curiosity, how much power was how much power is the existing one using when it really kicks in? Was it was it one and a bit gigawatts or was it yeah, it was 1.6. Yikes. And this is 
Well, I can't, I can't even look at what it's going to expect to use. Because that'll be the, the 112 megawatts is max production as it is as, as what it's expecting at the moment. So when everything is not doing anything. There's some good English. When nothing is actually working as it should. Um, so I'm going to need multiple gigawatts of power. So it's either a block of block of solar panel is probably twice the size of this one to start with. I don't know actually. I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm now sort of rethinking what I was just saying. I don't know whether it's actually worth going off and setting up a beam thing, or whether I might as well just make a a massive bank of solar panels in this this area down here. Um, and that one is actually about the size of this gap I've left down here, but I could expand. I could put them over here as well. <clears throat> I don't know. This one is providing 1.6 gigawatts of power, and when the um, when these things kick in, they you when when this one plasma when this when this um, there's three three material fabricators. Okay. Well, they don't use quite they don't use quite as so much power as I thought. Um, oh yes, they do. I didn't know I had three of them. Oh, I've got another two up here. Okay. Oh no, I've got two up here. Yeah, I've got one. There. Anyway, so yes, these potentially use. Oh, they only use a quarter of a gigawatt actually. So if I bring in a gigawatt, and then these, these, but then these all use quite a lot. So let's let's have another look at that. So at the moment, power has been spiking up to using like uh, using a gigawatt for what I'm doing here, which is lots of these particle accelerators, some material fabricators, and lots of plasma generators. Yeah, I, I'm sort of, that's sort of what I'm thinking, Vissu. Uh, it just doesn't feel worth. Um, it doesn't feel worth setting up a beam system when when I get. Yes, I get. I do get a bit more power out of the ones in um, in Kalidas orbit. It's like four times. I think you get twice as much when you take the the, uh, the beaming losses into account. So I think it's probably not worth it. So change of plan. Let's get an enormous quantity of red solar panels from down here. Uh, why have I... Stop picking those up. I mean, I know, I know why I've got them, but it, yeah, still annoying. A lot more of this. Oh. Um... Uh, I've got enough of those now. I don't need them. I don't need those. Don't need a silly number of radars. Don't need a that at all. Uh, da, 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 da. Get rid of these for now. I don't think those are on my wish list. No. Good. Um, I don't want bits of spaceship. There's no point in carrying bits of spaceship around with me. Uh, I said there's no point in carrying bits of spaceship around with me. Oh, all right, I'll have, have those. Um, and then I'll grab a bit more of this as well. Okay. Right. Let's go and put down an enormous um, solar power supply, solar power generator. Uh, what should be the amount I picked up? Yeah, that sounds sounds reasonable. Um, I'm more worried about running out of uh, space scaffolding than I am out of solar panels. At first, to be honest, at least it's to start with. <laughs> okay, let's put down. A lot here first. Might as well fill up this space just because it's because it's there and available. And up here as well. <laughs> That's what I meant about worrying about running out of um, those first. But yeah, well. Of course, as ever, I haven't put them down in a particularly efficient pattern, so I'll pick up a load of these in a minute and that'll help a bit. Oh, my arbitrary downwards distance happens to have been right, though. <laughs> Wait, 
when you say never have to, I mean it, it'd be exactly the same in in um, Kalidus orbit or close Kalidus orbit, but to a slightly lesser extent. Only, but only very slight. I mean, yes, you wouldn't need quite as much solar, but it'd be pretty close. It'd be. The, it would be this. It would be of an order of magnitude. You'd have similar sorts of, um, of problems, just not quite. As, you just wouldn't need quite as much solar. But as I say, it would be close, like a quarter as much or something like that, probably. Numbers off the top of my head. No, no warranty expressed or implied. How many solar panels is that, though? I mean, yes, it's going to—it's going to be fewer than it would take uh, than it would than it would be for me to put a um, uh, hundred gigawatts down, sure. But it's not going to be an enormous difference. I mean, it's not going to—it's I mean, not going to be an order of magnitude difference. I don't think. Or if it is, it's only going to be just be an order of magnitude difference. Right, there we go, that's 1.2 gigawatts, and there's a chunk missing out here, that might take it up to about 1.3, 1.4, maybe even 1.5, and then I can put another one of those, another couple of gigawatts over in this gap over here if I want as well. So there's, there's plenty of room for a lot more power, so let's go up and finish off that pipe work. Bloop. And, oh yeah, down here. This is going to be a five, wasn't it? So we need some fives. Right. Uh, oh, and another underground from there. <clears throat> and probably another one up here. Yeah. All right. Maybe I should. Maybe I should speed module these as well. I probably. I probably should speed module these as well. Actually. Um. I could put a beacon in. I can't put a beacon in, in this gap because it would get those um, these 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 machines. I could put it in up here, but it'd be mostly wasted because it'd only work on these. Um, yeah, this is probably all right actually. <laughs> Do you mean days by any chance? 554 days to finish. Because uh, I could happily believe that that it's about a 550 day game. Um, working that's good it's draining out the and the uh the cold stuff from there uh, oh i need to put in the pipe across the top for it to drain properly there we go i don't know what you mean by dials in that case right so made 700 that's a that is a start that is some has been made it's not a very good start but it is a it is nonetheless a start Okay, so power consumption spiked up to 500 megawatts. That's not as high as I was expecting, actually. So where's the... Okay, the limiting factor is currently in these these machines. So let's, let's speed module them up first, because I might as well. Then see how much they're, they're still the limiting factor. Oh, okay. Right, so that's, that'll be part of the sort of this, the super secret squirrel um, uh, endgame thing that I don't know about yet. Okay, I... Uh, I won't ask any more questions because I don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> okay, so we seem to have more um, plasma generation than when we have um, plasma consumption. So let's put some more of these in. Oh, did I not bring that many? Apparently not. Sand production, yes, is easily keeping up with demand. Good. Uh, oh. Uh, 
Ugh, I've run out of um, <laughs> material testing packs already. Why are there not more being brought? What are you doing? <clears throat> What's going on down here? There's a minus 800. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Duh. Right, there we go. Um, I don't know whether there are spoiler tags on Twitch, but to be honest, I think I think there's probably enough people here who haven't completed space exploration that you probably shouldn't be spoiling things. <laughs> Although I, I do accept that that is what spoiler tags are for. That is sort of the point of them. Right, how's that going? So this, ah, uh, we still have full plasma. That's that's good, although slightly surprising because oh, we're, and we're short of electricity. Um, these should probably have um. A little bit of uh, efficiency in them. <laughs> Phew. Um, I'm still short of electricity. Okay, so next thing is to build is to expand the solar production, um, but and then to come back, also come back with some more of these um, particle accelerators as well because I suspect I'm not generating. The, I'm not using the um, um, plasma as fast as I'm generating it. Uh, I could put in a. I sort of want to put in a tank somewhere, just as sort of a, a measure. That'll do. So that can... Uh, yeah, that's filling up very, very quickly. So I can put in a lot more um, particle accelerators. And then, presumably, I'll be able to put in more... Yeah, this is staying nice and tall as well. So I can put in more material fabricators as well. So let's also have one of these tanks in, just to sort of... <coughs> oh, good. Right, things seem to be going pretty well up here. So... I can have basically more of everything. I've 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 over specced on all. I've, I've, I'm over producing on plasma at a ridiculous enough rate that I can now go off and just bring in lots more stuff. <laughs> yeah, I suppose a lot. Of, it depends. It, I suppose it depends how much you count as spoilers. Yes, there's the sort of the secret end game stuff that um, hopefully I will I will get onto at some point in the next year. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take to get there. Um, but also, I mean, you could potentially you could consider it spoilers to see how spaceships work and see how people, other people do spaceships and stuff like that. I, I mean, that's probably a sort of an overly um, strict spoiler policy. And that you probably don't care if you if you get sort of those sort of level of minor spoilers. Um, but you could see it as a spoiler at that sort of level if you wanted to. Uh, quite a lot of solar. Lots of um, that one. Uh, decent number of particle accelerators. No more material fabricators. So it's clearly made. Oh yes, they they take the um, the high level modules to make, don't they? So I was making them up here, and it's now run out of speed module sixes. So let's go and get some more speed module sixes because I definitely need some more of these um, uh, material fabricators. I don't know if I'm actually making those at the moment, or whether everything's just sort of ground to a halt due to a lack of stuff. Uh, what are you making? You're making... Okay, so these are speed module 6s, but they're not being made, because reasons. There's one here. That's not really very many. Okay, what have we run out of? <clears throat> We've run out of blue, blue sir. Oh yes, I remember. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Arcospheres is probably going to be a big spoilery thing. Right. Yes, I'd forgotten I'd run out of blue circuits because those are being made on Henkis Eswe at a rate of blue circuits where said rate is not very impressive. Uh. Hmm. I'm. Uh, and I seem to run out of plastic as well, which is slightly alarming. Why have I run out of plastic? Oh dear. Is everything falling apart and breaking? I've run out of oil, that's why. Why is that? Uh, oh no! 
<laughs> All right. How many? First, for next question. How many? How full is this? Two thirds full. Okay, so that's that's going to take a while. Uh, it it depends what you mean by spoiler. I mean, I I haven't got. I've only just gone in and start looking at how to use how what to do with archospheres. Yes, I could have looked earlier, but I didn't because there's no point. Um, <clears throat> so to an extent, telling me all about archospheres six months ago would have been spoilers because there'd been things I didn't I didn't know about myself I hadn't found out about so in a way that's kind of spoilery um, but then on the flip side as you say that there's nothing particularly secret about it it's just some sort of very very complicated recipes um, other stuff is is apparently more more super secret and so I'm trying not to find out about that oh, that's a reasonable oil 500 that's pathetic I think some scanning on this planet might be required uh, to try and find some oil. Go. Uh, I shall come back soon. And um, where's it scanning around? Where's the centre point of this, as far as it's concerned, for this planet? So it's going to fill in these gaps. But I'm not quite sure how the scan works. Oh, oh, there's the centre point of the planet, as far as it's concerned. So it's going to, yeah. So it's going to scan round and round and out from here. Whereas I when I started I just moved out this way looking for a decent patch of of um, Holmanite ore okay fair enough yeah so this is problematic uh, let's sort of let's um, go back a few a few um, let's go back a few steps so yes the um, I've run out of blue circuits in on my space station for, for purposes of making um, making modules and it turns out that blue circuits are being made here on my holmium planet because um, holmium is um, allows you to make blue circuits for about half the cost of, of the normal recipe um, because you require half as many red circuits half as many green circuits which is great um, there are a couple of problems with this. The first one is that this system, even though there's this many machines, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 16, 32, <clears throat> 40 machines making blue circuits, it's still kind of slow. Um, they're all productivity moduled up and speed moduled up in the way that I had could speed module things up at the time, which was with the basic beacons. So one possible answer is to go out there with better beacons and just generally and just speed this whole thing up problem is i don't think a better beacon is going to fit in the same space as a basic beacon so it'd take a fairly significant redesign um their production yes here we go yes they are bigger so i'd have to so i'd have to um i'd have to redesign essentially is what i'm trying to say um which would be a bit of a pain uh, I could, could go out with better modules, in which case things would be produced a bit, potentially produced a bit quicker. Um, yeah, so that, 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 that's the first The first part of the problem is that 40 machines, whilst it was absolutely fine producing blue circuits before, now to start in mass producing modules, it's just not enough. The follow-on problem to that is, yes, what uh, Visu has just pointed out, we've run out, I've run out of, um, I've run out of oil. Uh, pl there's no plastic coming in because the oil has run out um, at, in the station here, and the oil has run out in the station here because the oil has run out in the station down here, which is providing it. Um, so these, they're filling up, but they're only at 6,000 full. We've got um, 50,000 in the station, and we need 100,000 before a, before a train will come. So that's not great. 222%. Uh, so I'm sort of thinking maybe the answer is to go out. The obvious answer is to go out and set up another um, oil mine somewhere, dig up a load more oil, ship it in. Um, and problem is, all these patches are a bit crap. Um, oh, there's there's a thousand percent up there. That's some. Um, oh, true. I could. Yeah, I could I could fill these up with speed modules actually. Now that they've got down to probably the minimum resort rate they're going to pull stuff up at. That's not a bad idea actually. Yeah, a mod a, a beacon and and, and uh, speed modules down here would be possible. And we've got loads of power available. Um, now possibly we've got loads of power available because everything's shut down because we've run out of plastic. But still, um, <laughs> it's a nice theory. So that's a possibility. Um, I think I already. Yes, I already am using power beaming here, so I've got I've got the, the the full gigawatt available from that, and I could potentially expand it if I needed to. So yeah, that's that's actually that might be that might be sufficient. Actually, whacking in a load of speed modules and a beacon down here may well be enough to, to make this work better. Um, 
Especially if I take some slightly better than tier 3 ones over there. Um, yeah, let's do that and see if we get a, see, see how much of an improvement that makes to the amount of oil we're getting out. Um, because I can't do much else until that. Well, I can't... I can't do any... Th yeah, I can't do a lot else until I've done that. Although I could nick one of the... Um, um, material fabricators from from the deep space science area that might be that might be acceptable yeah so let's go over there nick one of those um nick one of those uh what do we call it uh, material fabricators put that in i'll put in all of the solar that we're desperately waiting for up there as well um I, yeah i think having two of these is probably excessive <laughs> um, how are these doing? Oh, nice and low, so that means it's probably been something coming and picked up from there. Um, then I come back up here, massive solar drop, and then get things going from there. So, let's uh, let's finish off this, this block to start with. And then I'll just copy-paste it, I think. Plump. Uh, let's do this the easy way. There we go. <coughs> and that where am I where are those what have those bots been doing I have no idea okay it's so copied that uh, copy copy that there we go uh, including the tiles over here I could put that in just put it in there. Yes, it's going to cut one of them off the corner, bottom corner, but that's absolutely fine. Um, to be honest, I should probably do this because it'll be quicker. There we go. And then paste again. Like, s oh, uh, no, like so. Apparently, there's some of this missing around the edge. Yes, there is one. Not quite. No, still not quite enough on this side. There we go. Another another block will be fine, I think. All right. How much generation is that? That's almost a, that's almost a gigawatt. That's okay. So that's that's about the amount I'd get if I put in a single beam system. And that was probably, qu and with the not having to go across to set it all up in Kalida's orbit, that was probably easier than doing it than setting up a beam system would have been. So now I've got about two gigawatts available. That's good. Now back up here, and I want, and that tank. Oh, that tank's basically full now. So yeah, yeah, I should I should link this into the uh, the railway system now. That'd be a, a good idea. Uh, take all of that. Um, yes, put it the, there. There, yes, that that's the right place for it. Don't take not that one though. Um, but I do need that there. Bloop, not there. Did that get? Yes, I did. Oh. Why are you not running? Because you're filling up the coolant. Okay. I'm not sure why that coolant is low actually. Apart from because this has gone slurp on it in a big way. Why is there so little super chilled thermofluid? I mean, these these machines are all running. Maybe maybe these are actually hungrier than I realised uh, on the old thermofluid, and this so this just is simply isn't simply isn't enough throughput to keep to keep it all cold. Um, given that yeah, these are basically all running. <coughs> All of this is running. Uh, yeah. Okay. I need a lot more fridging than I realised. Apparently, uh, we're using getting through the cold thermofluid much, much faster than I expected. Okay. I guess um, 
I don't have the uh, have the stuff with me to do another, make another one of those. Still seem low on power. Mm, shouldn't be. It hasn't tried to go up to the two gig giga gigawatts that I that I have available. So why do you say it seems low on power? Is it just looking at machines jerking and running jerkily, or is it inserters not moving quickly, or electricity bars? I suppose is the other one, the more obvious thing. No, this seems. Oh. No, th must be normal because, I mean, because they're not, <laughs> then they're not, they're not short of power. So, I think it's probably okay. I am running these at oof, very, very high power usage, um, but I seem to have the power for it, so I'm, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, so right, this is is getting there. It's still a bit short of uh, I'm, I'm i'm producing i'm producing plasma stream far faster than i'm using it up which is probably a good thing oh this everything's full actually as well so that's mm. oh that's an idea yeah if i put this it's a good idea it's a good idea but they don't fit <laughs> um i don't really want to redesign but I could just module all of the beacon stuff, of course. That's that's an easier way to do it. Bloop. <laughs> um, good. That was easy. <laughs> Don't know why that's there, but it's causing problems. So put that there instead. There we go. Now we're running at plus 160% speed. So that. Uh, and plus, goodness knows what percent power as well. But oh, it's still actually it's still only under a megawatt, even even with the um, even at three, even using quite four times the amount of power it normally would. So I don't think I care about that. These aren't too greedy. It's I was going to say it's the beacons that are using all the power. That's unfair because the um, the power hungry things are all turned off at the moment. <laughs> How much coolant is it in total? Yes, yes, it is some coolant. <laughs> That's the best answer I can give you, I'm afraid. Ooh, if it's midnight there, yes, it is almost bedtime here. Uh, I should probably go to bed soon. Um, I'll resist for at least at least a little while. Uh, despite what I was saying earlier about uh, not wanting to have too late at night. But I can at least get a pickup station for all of this... Um, now, apparently I can't get a pickup station for all of this um because I've run out of rail again. Uh yes, it pro probably would. But I think with these beacons in they're probably going to be fast enough. I mean that that's I've quadrupled the speed, so maybe if and when I put in some more um um Words, words are hard. When I when I, when I put in some more uh, material fabricators and the and the coolant requirements shoot up again, then maybe I'll uh, try moving the uh, moving all the coolers over over to the right so there's a bit more room. Oh, Henke says sweet scan is still going. I should probably take a look at that and then consider what, how I want what I want to do with it. Um, in fact, I already did consider what I wanted to do with it, didn't I? Um, and the thought was probably the best idea is going to be to. Um, to go in and speed module the uh, the, the the mines. <coughs> so I'll um I'll get this finished. I'll get in a station to take away this um um this antimatter I'm building up at the moment, and then I'll nip over and then I'll head over to Henkes S. We get that speed modulled up, and then probably call it a night at that point. Um, now you know what I'm like. I will probably get distracted at least once during this process, so um it may take slightly longer than I've just implied, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, signals that 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 right and I want to make a copy let's let's just copy paste the um, existing um, antimatter station because why not take that um, yep just that much of it so, no don't care about train stop names and put it up here 
line with this one because might as well keep things sort of vaguely semi neat and tidy that doesn't go there that doesn't go there off the world. Put that there. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. And this is a pickup station so I don't need to worry about the, um, the station settings too much because it's just trivial. And it's the it's a fluid one as well so it's even well. It's slightly different but it's still pretty easy. So um, from here we need to... Okay well if I'm putting a tank in there then I need to put a walkway across here like that. Get rid of that. Um, no, long pipe, long pipe. Long pipe there. Long pipe there. Short pipe. Very short pipe. And power. I'm not going to mess around with the other ones. <laughs> Just do that. <laughs> Easy. Okay, so that was was full. It's draining now straight down this pipe as you'd expect. That's good. Um, let's put another tank in there just because it feels... I feel like a supply station might as well have a decent supply available potentially. Um, right, so that's now draining this. So these should now kick in at full whack. I don't know why that one hasn't kicked in. Because I've not done the output properly, probably. There we go, that's why. Okay, so now these are these are running full speed ahead. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And they're being kept they're being kept filled up nicely by this. That hasn't started to go down yet, which implies we are producing it fast enough. Only some of these are running, which again implies the same sort of thing. So there's a lot of there's a lot of slack available up here for a lot more of these material fabricators once I've got the, the bits and pieces to make them. Um, so that's good. We've I've, I've managed to design in a reasonably, reasonably forward-thinking way, which makes a nice change. Um, and at the moment, with the, with these two running basically constantly, we are churning this out at a suitable, no, that rate. That a, a rate which I can't tell because it's not. This isn't linked to there. That'd be nice. Uh, Thirty-three thousand. That's pretty good. Thirty-four. Come on, how long does it take to get to 35? 35, okay, so it's, it's, it's a decent, it's a reasonable rate. And given it, given it takes two and a half of these to actually make a, um, a, sorry, each of these only makes two and a half of those probe things. It's going to be a while till I've got enough of that sort of thing. But I'd say that's going pretty well. Um, and as I say, I can come back and put some more material fabricators in once I've got some blue circuits. Yes. So right now let's go and do that that other other little thing. So I've got I've got plenty of speed module threes. Um, I've got a one six and one seven. So I could potentially put those in. Um, I do also have a beacon. Yes, yeah, so I've got nine beacons. Okay, so that that'll allow me to to power the thing. Uh, to, to sorry to beacon the thing as well. Um, my spaceship is full of fuel. That's good. And I'm getting into spaceships is difficult. There we go. Right, let's go to Henkis Eswe. Blip. Uh, 9,8,8,7,6,5. It's not going to take very long to get there. Good. Okay, so once we get out there, I can put in the... Uh, I can put in the... Um, the um, I, I can I can boost the oil production, and I can have a I can consider boosting the um, uh, trying having a look at the, um, the the circuit production. I'm not sure whether as re there's really much I can do there um, because there isn't room to put in bigger um, bigger beacons without a major redesign. And whilst I've got a few slightly better modules, I don't think that'll really be enough. Probably what I need to do is just calm down a little bit on the making of the high-end modules for a little while. Um, 
and uh, try and bring that down to slightly more sensible rate, sensible, slightly more sensible rate. Uh, for alignment, they're there because when you're when you're landing a spaceship manually without uh, without using the spaceship clamps to automatically dock, it's really really hard to line up with existing pipes for fueling and things like that. So I put the uh, sticky outy bits to line up with the underground pipes that uh, take the fuel into the ship at that point. So if I have so I can so if I'm landing next to something I've already where I've already got a point set up for refueling the ship, I can tell where to put it. Because otherwise, lining ships up is really, really difficult. Because <laughs> you just get an outline. You go, well, I, I know it's about that big, but I'm just put it there, we'll squeeze it in there. Maybe I don't. I don't know. So it seemed like a good idea. <laughs> um, I don't really need it anymore, to be honest, because the um, in Norbit orbit it now lands using a docking clamp because that saves my sanity, basically. Um, but back in the days before I had, before I just got that set up, it was very useful. And it does tend to, it's usually got enough fuel to blast off from pretty much anywhere. Um, the slight mistake at the beginning of this uh, stream notwithstanding. <laughs> uh, one minute to go. Okay. So actually, while I'm, while I'm flying over, and I should have thought of this while I was five minutes ago rather than when there was one minute to go, how are we doing down here with the production of the um, Arcosphere Collector job and got two of them okay how many are we trying to make 30 okay presumably it's the um, yeah oh oh uh. yeah so these are having a squabble so this is what I, this is what I was afraid of so oh yeah stop the scans good idea um Yes, yeah, so this is what I was afraid of. The there's I only put 20 in there, but somehow this has got four on its output, which this is this is refusing to take. And this has got 20 on its output, which this is refusing to take. So whoever told me it was probably going to be all right, um, nuts to you. <laughs> Didn't work. Um, yeah, so that's that's why I wanted to use a chest in there for this. Uh, well, I'll fix that before. I, I'll fix that as well because it's a ridiculously small thing. Um, yeah, actually, since I've been scanning Henke let's see if we found anything interesting, like another big oil patch. Ooh, that is quite a large area scanned. Um, 800, 700, 1,000, 600. I mean, a couple of thousand would be nice, but I suspect this probably wasn't a couple of thousand when it was brand new. 1,100, 600. I mean, there's 1,800 fairly close together there, and there was, ooh, down here, we've got 1,000 there and 600 there, and... 700 and um, yeah <clears throat> I could set up another um, mining system but I haven't brought any rail rail with me so I'm not going to <laughs> uh, planning ahead a little bit like that would have been a good idea but apparently I'm incapable of planning ahead who knew I wonder what happens if you try and land on water with a spaceship let's find out okay seems to have landed quite happily Right. No. Nope. Speed modules. Plump. Two. <laughs> um, and then... Put that there. Yes, that basically gets all of the ones around here. What's in the way? It's a pile in the way. Cannot build on shallow water. Please have some... I do have some landfill. What in a... Okay, I, I'm glad I've got landfill, but why on earth did I have landfill? <laughs> So I want to get that bottom one, and I want to get those top ones. Can I get that one over there? Yes, if I put it here. Which doesn't need the landfill I just put down, but never mind. Put that. Oh, it needs... This is a really swampy planet. <clears throat> Which is quite annoying to build things on. Because... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, you can come out with landfill and stuff, but still, it's still annoying. Right, have some of that. And have some of this. Oh, it works already. Train's arrived. <laughs> Alright, so these are now running at um, almost four times normal speed. So that should be... And given that this was half full when I, when it, when I saw it just run out, that means this is running at about half the required speed. So now that I've got it running at four times speed... We should be absolutely laughing. I say we should be laughing. What I actually mean is that we're going to just be short of... We're still going to be short of blue circuits because the whole system that's making them isn't remotely fast enough. But um, 
yeah, better, 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 like better. We've now at least got enough oil, so there will be a trickle of them coming through. So it's, it's, it's better. Yeah, this is a seriously swampy planet. I mean, look, not only does it have the big lakes, that they're, they're absolutely fine. They don't bother me too much. But this sort of swampy terrain like this is just just, just, just annoying. <laughs> so, not the ideal place to build. There we go. Oil dump. Shoop. And now we can start making... Start processing again. Oh, we've got plastic coming through again already. That was quick. Blimey. Um, did that come in... Sooner? That's weird. That happened faster. That 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 plastic propagated up here a lot faster than I would expect it to have. Unless that was the second train that came in, which would be a bit weird. Given it was so close and so low. Unless I've got another oil mine somewhere. No, I haven't. Hmm. Curious. I don't know. Right. So this is now running again. We've got the plastic coming through. We've got the uh, the the uh, blue circuit starting to come out. It's still a bit of a trickle. Um, we're still only 80% uh, st full now. Um, eventually, this will, this rocket will fill up. We'll have enough to bring over. It'll fly fly them over to um, to Norvis orbit, and then things will start to go a bit better again. Um, the only place this is sending them to is Norvis orbit, I believe. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there is. I think that means there's only one of them because yeah you get the uh, the number in square brackets after it so so yeah there is only there is only one place that this is going to and we just need to fill this up before it'll uh, be ready <laughs> and that's going to take that is going to take a while but at least when it does fly out we'll have 500 stacks of them as usual i've rather over specced on my holmium production i <laughs> i'm using like half of this block quarter of this one even less of these two um, <clears throat> yeah, that was, that was, that's a bit excessive. But never mind. It does mean if I do start to use Holmium in larger quantities in the future, then great. Or at least when when this rocket launches and takes and takes uh, 25,000 Holmium away, it'll fill up again nice and quickly, so there'll be plenty left. I can't replace the beacons in here because they're, the, yeah, they're too small. Or rather, the new ones are too big. Um, that idea did occur to me. I talked about it a bit, but... Um, also... So that we also wouldn't work because there's a full half belt. Well, there's a full, full, <coughs> full half belt of green circuits coming in here and here, and um, and if I put if I if I made this run faster, then it wouldn't um, then we wouldn't get uh, then there wouldn't be enough green belts green green circuits coming in. So it wouldn't actually this this is this is designed to be balanced based on the amount of stuff coming in. Um, so no, putting in bigger beacons would not help. Right, but this does seem to be basically working. I think I can probably safely leave it to it. Um, how quick? Oh, how quickly is the um, uh, is this filling up again? Fifty thousand now. Um, already, that's not too bad. How much is left over here? One hundred twenty. Okay, what have I got? Where's the where's the uh, combinator for this? Oh, there it is odd place to put it 150 so we're down to we're down to 20,000 here so this actually still isn't fast enough I might need to come out here and put in another um, another another royal mine even with all the even with these all running at four times speed it's um, not really fast enough okay well that's that's a, that's I think is a thing for another time so I'll put it I'll put it on the list anyway Kenk oil Lie. How much power are these things using? Probably not very much, is my guess, um, because there's many other things that are using a lot more. Because they're, they're they're relatively low power things anyway. Yeah, they're using nine megawatts out of the out of the gigawatt I've got coming in. Uh, granted, plus the uh, thirty megawatts. So we're using forty megawatts, and that's it. And that was sort of the shoving in lots and lots of extra speed modules and things. <laughs> I could put the slightly better ones in there as well. well I've got yeah, I've got. <clears throat> I suppose I could put that and that in there as well. That gets these up to 
Uh, where's, where's, where's it? Why can't I find the speed? Oh, there we go. That's five times speed. Okay, so that's probably worth it. Um, <laughs> that one over there only going at a mere um, 1.8 times speed. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got 70,000 now. That's... I think that's probably sufficient, um, mostly because I can't do anything else about it. That's as fast as that's as fast as I can get it going with what I've got on hand. Um, at some point in the future, I'll probably bring out some more railway and go out and pick up maybe these two, maybe 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 this one, maybe these two, maybe both of them, possibly these two because they're slightly closer. Or I could run all the way up here and get that one and that one. That's probably those two are the probably the biggest two two patches. What about these? 800, 900, or maybe these two because they're quite close. I could. It'd be fairly straightforward to uh, file a, a a line straight up here, and there's this one as well actually. So yeah, if I pick up these three, that could that would be that would be quite a good boost to my oil, oil production, and wouldn't be too too difficult, especially as I've already got this spur coming up up here. Um, I don't have any rail with me. I only had 300 before I dumped it, so I wouldn't have had enough anyway for that. And I'm not going to use space rail because it's too expensive. Um, I'm going to put down north. That way I might remember those patches. Okay, so yeah, that that that's good. We've got the standard ship here. We're doing the doing the the waiting for us to actually use some holmium thing, so that I can I can uh, do a bit more ore, uh, core mining and, and and actually launch it. But that's that's the usual problem that we're all very very used to by now of me just not getting through the exotic metals fast enough to. To realistically get to get through the amount that's of, that's available for the uh, for the core mine, the amount I'd like to get through in order to make all of the core mining work. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, let's go to Tulip because Tulip is small, and I think I'm going to have enough fuel to take off from both. Yes, yeah, Tulip's tiny, so I'll be, have plenty of fuel to take off from there. So I'll nip over there and sort out that uh, vulcanite pickup problem. Uh, then back to Norvis orbit. I'll sort out the. Um, the antimatter pods because that's that's quite annoying having that just sitting there going nope just gonna sit here and not work um and then i'll then and then i think it's time to call it a night because oh yeah the last um half hour or so has disappeared i'm not quite sure where that went but um actually no i am quite sure where that went i, I spent it um spent it trying to sort out oil production and make it run a bit faster um but i think this last couple of things should be reasonably quick to sort out and then i'll then i'll call it a night so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Um, we've had um, quite 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 a, quite a bit done this time. I've, I've gone out and set out enormous quantities of antimatter production, or at least what will hopefully scale up to enormous quantities of antimatter antimatter production. Um, and I've thought a little bit about um, archospheres. Gone out and started collecting the the blank archospheres, so those which obviously need to be processed before I can really use them for anything too exciting. Um, between streams, I'm going to have a look at the the archosphere recipes and just get try and get my head round. What you can do with them and what 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 goes on. I mean, I've, I've got a, I've got an approximate idea. Um, <clears throat> you've got an archosphere. You turn it into lots of archospheres. Each of those has the recipes where you can do two into two types into two types or four types into four types, uh, just to sort of give them all a big stir and a shuffle to get to change around change around what you've got. Um, and yeah, I'll um, I'll try and get an idea of how to how to how to balance these, and then maybe maybe next time I'll come back with an idea of what to do, or maybe I'll just say my brain melted and I'm going to carry on doing uh, slightly more mundane stuff for a little bit longer. We shall see. But I've got two weeks to think about it, so that should hopefully be plenty of time. Um, in the meantime, what's what's going to be going on? Well, um, let's see. So there's going to be um, there's going to be catch up videos at the weekend, of course, as as always, because that's how how, how the channel works. Um, I don't know if you, I, I don't know how many of you actually made it to the uh, the Minecraft stream on Monday, but uh, there'll be a video on Saturday, sort of summarising what's been going on in there. And I got some automation done in that, which is quite nice. Um, I know that um, a lot of the uh, the Factorio was originally um, based on some of the sort of some of the Minecraft, uh, more automated Minecraft mods, or based on is too strong a word. Actually, was inspired by is probably a better way to put it. And so we're sort of doing we're doing that sort of we're doing those sort of mods in 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 in, uh, in Minecraft. So the the automation is really starting to come through now. And then there'll be a summary of this video, sorry, this stream on um, on Sunday as as, as usual. Uh, there won't be any um, any streams next week because I'm going to be in in the in the theatre all week. Uh, so show week is a crazy busy. Uh, so just basically not, don't don't expect anything to happen on my channel next week I'm afraid but after that things will be back to normal I'll be so there'll be a st streams on the Monday and Wednesday uh, after that and hopefully life will calm down enough that I'll be able to start making some more um, more GTA videos again 
I suspect there probably won't be one of those tomorrow because there isn't one finished yet. So <laughs> um, <laughs> the chances of me actually having time to make one between now and then is pretty small, should we say. Uh, so, yeah, don't hold your breath about that one. Oh, somehow the bots managed to... No, don't do that, you stupid bots. Um, somehow the bots managed to place those things, even though... Oh, I don't know. I don't understand bots. Right. Um, yeah, somehow the bots managed to place that chest, so I didn't actually need to come here. That's very strange and a bit weird, a bit surprising. I don't know what... Oh, maybe there's an... I, yeah, I, I don't know. Right, back to Norvis Orbit. Go, 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 go. Let's go quickly before I fall asleep. Launch. Whoosh. Um, yeah, so the Arcosphere production and balancing and produ and production and balancing and, yeah, all that sort of thing is going to be um, interesting. Um, as long as I've got enough Arcospheres, I reckon it's not going to be difficult. However, as we've seen, getting Arcospheres, not so easy. Um I might have to use bots just to remove any, just to eliminate any um, <coughs> uh, excess on belts and things like that, just to keep things vaguely sensible. Um, at least until I've got enough Arcospheres that, that stops being a problem. I say it, until, if. Um, so, <coughs> yeah, I might I might need to use bots to start with, but I'll try not to as much as I can, and we'll do, we shall see how it goes. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be an adventure, isn't it? It's sort of the one of the big remaining challenges of this mod pack is going to be sort of working those things out. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure, well, yeah, bots probably are the intended way of doing it. Um, but I try, I try to avoid bots because they, they keep they keep crashing, they blow up, and it's annoying when they do. Um, and I just prefer the sort of feel of a Factorio factory that uses belts rather than bots. Bots just... I'm not going to say bots are cheating, um, but they feel... They're just not the not the feel I like to go for for my factories, <clears throat> but we'll we'll see. I'll um I'll I'll work something out anyway. And at least they at least they don't actually get used up. If they got if they got used up at the rate you get them at, then that'd be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, yeah, but if you run out of arcospheres because you've got because you balance them wrongly, then you balance them wrongly. You've done it badly. You should be ashamed of yourself and, and should go away and look at your go back to the old drawing board and do it again, but better. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Maybe they do get occasionally used up, but basically, I, I don't know. I'm, I've gone this far without teleportation. I'll probably survive the rest of the uh, the game, <laughs> unless it's really, really useful. It might come in. It might turn out to be we want to be something that seems worthwhile because it's useful enough. But we we shall see. Right, down here, this thing can stop being stupid, please. I've landed inside the building, but never mind. Okay, one there, one there. Bump, bump, bump. Actually, wait, that needs to be a um, one of them. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just get the passing out the uh, the Arcosphere things down here, and then I'll be very confused and very annoyed. Um, um, plasma bottle. What are they? What are those things called? Yeah, those things. Um, canisters, okay. <coughs> that one, there we go. Right, that should fix that problem. We should now start making Arcosphere Uber Jumma Watch Mits and uh, start pulling all of the. Um, um, what do we call it? Oh, oh words, words are hard because it's my bedtime. And start pulling, yeah, start pulling all of the antimatter from from over here. Because wow, this this sta this station's filled up completely. Nice. So this is going jolly quickly. I don't, why is this? I suppose there are a lot more plasma generators than I had on the other place. So that's that's probably why. How has this been for power uh, over the last hour? It's peaked. Oh oh, it has actually used all of the power briefly. So I haven't actually got a, a huge amount of power here. But, yeah, still, never mind. What do you mean, catchers? Tele I don't think t teleportation being that important for Naquium. Because, yes, it's um, <clears throat> it's a pain to get the... Uh, it's, 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 it's sort of... It's, it's a throughput problem. And I've solved the throughput by having this ma these massive ships here. And bringing the Naquium back from outer space is no longer a problem. Because we've got 
it's coming back fast enough. The, pro the problem with the Naquim is processing it, and that's just down to the amount of um, uh, vitalic, vitalic acid I'm able to pump through, which has gone crap again because I've run out of glass again because I don't have enough stone on Norvis, and, or I'm not making the glass fast enough on Norvis, or something like that. So, yeah, actually, the, the problem with Naquim processor is... Um, the problem with Naquim is actually the, um, uh, the glass supply. So... <laughs> Uh, right, I'm going to say bedtime now because I've done all the things I was talking about. So thank you very much for watching. Um, as I say, no stream next week, but I'll be back the week after. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you then. Hi, right. bye bye. Thank you.